You know what? I might start one of these domes. I don't know that I really want the um, short sword skill, but I might start one of these with a short blade. Oh, the, the actual short sword. It's not like a um, dagger or anything. Like the you brigand start with. Oh, I could get. I can't get Okumaru. <laughs> Never mind. I mean, yeah, no. The being of your sense doesn't work, but God. All right then. Check out the shop. I should just go up one of these staircases. There's a there's a lot of uh, vials of floods and stuff. A lot of the evocables here. I do want pretty much all of those at some stage when I've got the money, of course. Um. Yeah, I can stab that guy. Well, this time round is like giving me a. Perfectly clear way up. At least to dodge level two. Uh, oh, we didn't manage to escape the adder. That's a bit of a shame. Why have to read the fear? Oh, it's almost dead, but like, I don't have nothing to actually kill it off. If I try to stab it again, that's silly, isn't it? No, I don't know. Maybe that was silly, but at least I'm second level now, which gives me way more health. And I can get up to the first level dungeon. I could use a slug. I could go ranged. Um, kind of tempted. We'll see what it got here. This corrosion ring. All right, let's put it on. But yeah, I might actually go ranged. I know slugs aren't that good, but it's something. Okay, I've got the first level of the dungeon to trade up my ability to use it. Uh, leather up is fine if I go ranged. I don't need to put a like plate or whatever I had. I start with 15 decks, which isn't too bad at all. But that's very good. to very rapidly improve as this character levels up, because that does the demigod. Alright, please no D1 dolls. That would be nice. Oh, well, the dungeon exit. Fancy meeting one of those. Usually you start on one of those. I mean, sometimes you get more of them, so it's not the only character that would at least find one. Alright. Uh, done with dungeon level 1. That didn't get much XP. I'm still second level. Uh, I got some of that XP on the lower levels. Hey, there we go. That's third level. I'm going to get some decks. I think, because I don't have, like, these spells. Well, I do, actually. I've got, like, Stag Discharge. But I don't think I'm quite good enough to go through all the spells. Um, let's just leave Sigmund be, I think. I reckon this character would get absolutely murdered by Sigmund. Ooh, gloves. I can wear those. I can wear a full set of armor, I'm pretty sure. Of, like, the auxiliary armor. I'm just going to back up into the proper choke point. And also it lines up those jackals a bit, so if I miss with my um, slug, I might hit the second one. Oh. Uh oh. I'll try one of these potions, see what I get. Brilliant, that doesn't really help. Um, oh, I'll try one of these. Uh, magic. I feel robust. Small pair of antenna is not the best. Oh. Well, they're really, really poisoned right now. This could be bad. Man, I did survive, but... Oh, well, I should back up. What's down the staircase? I think this one's fine just to head on down and get my health back. At least. Um, let's check these mutations again. No clarity of mind, so I can't be confused anymore. I mean, that's alright. Try to lose my helmet, but I get clarity of mind and robust. I think that's definitely worthwhile. Alright. Uh, I guess I can detect things. Not that I can tell exactly what they are. So, um, I know that Terrence is just going to flail, but I think I just leave her as well as leaving Sigmund. Alright, bring one of these oof two of us guys upstairs. Because otherwise they will, like, flag me. Because they, yeah, they do that thing where they swap sides of me. There's a sling, but I can't dual wield slings. Not a coglet. I did play a coglet that was dual wielding slings for a little while yesterday. But then they got some really good swords, so they swapped over. I think it was definitely a good choice. Um, well. 
Oh, burn me up. I might just go upstairs and get my health back. Try that whole uh, Bombardier Beetle fight again. If I can even find it. Oh, I suppose if I can't find it, it can't be that important, right? Three of that scroll. I gotta try and read one, see what I can identify good. So I can identify... Shard up. I might have something to enchant. Poison. Got the gloves. I can go enchant those. And I probably should. Uh, pretty good. Six armor gloves. Yeah, I definitely should. Because the, the early game's the hard part. Um, especially for these demigods. They were really nasty early game. Do I want to find that phantom? Hmm. Maybe. Yeah, got a full frog. Oh. Think I'm winning this fight. Do, what do I actually have in the way of potions? I got a couple of potions of haste. That's about it in terms of buffs, which is not bad. Gozag, I don't think I can worship Gozag. But I'll give it a try. Nope, I can't. Wait, is that the Gozag altar with the Zen altar on the other side, where Zen is like guarding all the treasure? Oh, right, Resist Corrosion got one of those already. Just funny thing, like a ring that uh, doesn't want to pick itself up. Usually they'll pick up even if you've already got two because, uh, I don't know, they just do. But I guess it's there and it's like the finger necklace and stuff that so can allow you to have three rings or something. But it does seem kind of funny that rings just keep on picking up even when you've already got two. Alright. Where's the priest? I think I left it behind. Fine. Oh, that's not the right spot. <laughs> I'm going back upstairs. Oh, can I exclude up Pykel? I'm not sure about that. I have a very good spot to run away from this uh, Bob Deer Beetle. I guess I was on the staircase up, so that's something at least. All these gods, I can't worship. Never mind. I mean, I guess you go. Oh, it's not the it's not the Gozak one with Zed. It's just a Gozak on its own. Um, if I throw a cure, not a cure aria, poison dart at this guy, it might do something. It missed. Oh, well, it missed again. Um, hmm. I'm gonna try this potion. Hey, cure me up a little bit. Okay, I can get more decks, which is definitely what I want to get. Keep that one going. Man, at some stage I should get a little bit of dodging, should I? Ooh, it's got Holy Wrath, which doesn't matter. Probably not time to get dodging just yet. I don't have much of the other skills, like, um... Ranged weapons. Uh-oh. I wonder if I get offered to join the god. Probably not, so that's a shame. <laughs> He's going to use that as a way out. Um... Using poison on this guy, which I don't actually have. Wait, it was actually noise I had. Wouldn't be that helpful. Man, I feel like I gotta use a haste here. No, I hasn't uh, often. I think there was a while. No, I don't know if there was a while where Divi Gods could join, get their choice to join up. I think there was a while where they got the choice, but they couldn't actually activate the ability or something. I don't think they've ever been able to actually get the god. Alright, well, that's Pyco. I might leave him be. And let's go downstairs. What am I on? Dungeon level 5? This is where I started, basically. I started, what, down... Beyond one of these staircases. Uh... I do have an identifier scroll, so I can go find out what one of these things are. Immolation. I don't have any fire resist. Uh, in fact, I'll double check my jewelry, but it doesn't look like I've got any fire resist. Character, oh, they saw the Okawaru also, right, I remember that. Just checking, because I know one character saw an uh, Nabla, but I think that character died. Oh, the shield? I can currently use that one, but I'm not sure it's a good idea. Can't wear the helmet because I got the antennae, and it's also some boots here. Um, 
I feel like grabbing those boots might be a good idea. Give me some sort of protection early on. Can I enchant them? No. Alright. Um, if I get ranged up to 10, fighting up to like 8, and dodging up to like 5, maybe. That's probably the best for keeping this character alive. Because I'm up to... 30, not 30, 23 decks. I don't have a huge amount just yet, but it's enough where the dodging might start making some difference. Alright, well, I'm deeper than where I started in this. You start here with a wanted polymorph. Um. Oh, okay. Oh, I guess I go back upstairs there. Oh, he's, he's summoned all the stuff. Um, oh, so, okay, that's good. We I mean, the fungus next to him is great. Maybe not so much with this guy. No, we'll move up to me. There we go. Because fungus do so much damage, but they can't move when there's an enemy around. So they're kind of high risk, high reward. Um, that's doing something, I guess. At least this guy piece was spending his time visible, so I was actually hitting it alright. Well, kind of. It didn't feel like I was doing that alright. What's this scroll? Amnesia. Unfortunately, I don't think I've got any spells. So I don't think that would help me out. Um, I'll do a potion and a scroll, I guess. So I've got degeneration, and I've got a silent scroll. Well, a silent scroll is one of those things that can be useful uh, against enemy mages. Ooh, a wand of warping. That's good. It's got warping, polymorph, digging. Warping's probably the best one out of those. And uh, with those skills reaching the target, I should get some evocations, I think. Uh, do I physical tempo? I guess so. <laughs> to see what's uh, available. Hey, you know what? Let's put on a faith. Doesn't really do a lot for me. Feel a surge of self confidence because I got faith on. Sure. Oh yeah, just a generic, normal looking temple. Nothing too special. Ooh. I'm gonna leave Jeremiah. I wonder whether I'm tough enough to kill some of the earlier uniques I've seen. Oh my goodness, three priests on dungeon level 7? I mean, at least the dungeon level 7, not like dungeon level 3 or something, right? Um... Alright, but there's still definitely way too many of them. I'm hoping they split up as I go explore elsewhere. Pull this guy back a little bit. Yeah, because there's still all the priests and stuff hanging around. Ring of Fire's not going to help me out against an Ice Beast. Um, hmm. Uh, maybe, yeah, okay, I didn't even have to use the one of Warping. I had a, I felt like I might need to use one, but apparently not, okay. Ooh, okay, that's doing some damage. Let's just warp this guy back a bit. Uh, where are you throw? Oh, I might have to warp it again. Just to uh, kill it off, because I'm getting a bit low on health. There we go, got rid of it. But there's going to be more whites, just like that one. And apparently bears. Um, Pull the bear... Oh, that doesn't work so well to pull the bear back. Hmm. I don't have to warp the bear. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to warp the bear. Alright, there's one of the group of the breeds, so I gotta wound them a bit. No, they're not with a warping range. I gotta wound them a bit with the warping because they do a lot of damage. Okay. Back up a little bit. I gotta look for range weapons, but I think it's just been slings this time around. It's fair enough. I'm gonna have to wait till I get a centaur to. Get a short bow or something, or an orc bow, preferably an orc bow. Short bows don't do too much damage. Um, I got a falchion, which is what I would have used previously. Uh, it's another sling. All right. I 
Ich glaube, Bombard, something else. Seismic uh, Cannonade. That's something I want to try, but it's like fairly high level spell. This character's not into the spellcasting side of things, unfortunately. There's not have a lot of good Earth Mages left. I guess I could try an Alchemist. That's probably an idea. Um, Greatsword wielding white, sure. I don't feel like I'm damaging that much. Oh, there we go. Just kind of throw up died. I was uh, definitely struggling earlier. Ooh, I could have with the Acrobat. That I could use. Uh, we'll rage a tumble, roll out of harm's way. Excellent. I'll just temporarily put on this ring of fire and go kill this guy. I might be able to steal its armor as well, while it scales. I'm sure it's quite stealing though, if you like, go and skin it. That's, um, yeah, it's a bit more than just stealing. Okay, well, let's go to the shield, I think, which way he's a bit topper. Oh, ow. I think this is fine. Just me versus one doll. And I'm not winning. Oh, man. All right, then. I would have, I would have thought like just me versus that one guy would be fine, but apparently not. Oh, all the whites. Gonna back up, but I don't think the other ones noticed me. Thankfully. Oh. Almost got the white, but not quite. Okay, well, I guess next decade, then. What's up with this place? Don't know. Guess that transport leads somewhere. The question is where? Alright. Back to the staircase. That guy with the shield's not gonna die in a hurry. Definitely not. Okay. Go try and slay it again. Um. Yeah, you're gonna end up me fighting someone else. Okay. Hey, got the sergeant finally. It's got his kite shield, spear flaming, and a scale mail. Yeah, it was pretty well kitted out. Oh, what's this guy? It's an unseen horror, alright. Um oh, I don't even know what to polymorph into. And it's gotta to, gotta to warp it, but I don't know where it is. Yeah, I don't, don't know. I don't think I was doing enough damage to that guy. Hey, Lee, hey, this guy's gonna have something for me, a short bow. That's a slight improvement. Now I'm just gotta wait for an oak bow. Uh... So that's 30 something health. Oh, that's not looking quite as good. I gotta uh, warp this guy, I think. Come on, do some damage. Oh, um. Bees, right. I don't have any fire resistance or anything. I feel like that might lead back into the bees as well. Ooh, and there's a white bird. Can I get that with a... No, I don't have a scroll of points or something. Okay, I can get it with a polymorph? Probably not. A rhyme drake, a fire bat, or a killer bee. Um, a killer bee or a fire bat would be fine, but a rhyme drake, not so much. I think I just keep on shooting it. Oh, it didn't work. Um, hmm. I don't even have a teleport right now, okay. I see how that is. Uh, I might drink a haste. Right, so with the haste on, I was able to kill it, but it was still not uh, easy to kill or anything. Oh, well, I guess that leads into the B room. Alright, got an identify. Maybe this will be able to identify me a scroll teleport or something. Oh, scroll poison. I mean, that could be useful. 
Oh, uh, let's see, Unseen Horror. Uh, I'm just gonna go up, I hope it didn't follow me. In fact, I might go look at some of those earlier uniques. It was, uh, Sigmund or Dungeon Level 2. Well, I sure hope I can find Sigmund now. And there was Terrence as well. Alright, I guess it's really Terrence. Um, it wasn't actually guarding anything, but oh uh, well. There we go, that gets rid of uh, Sigmund as well. What was next in my way of uniques? There was a. Uh, okay, there's some stuff with dungeon level 4, like Pykel and stuff. Um, and all the viewers, which makes sense. He always has those guys around him. I just shout to presumably they've all been alerted to my presence. What are they doing? They just wandered off. There he is. Rogue Warpower would buy one of those. Is he using a whip of freezing? Alright. Uh... Bring him out somewhere I could use a warping wand on him if I need to, but I think he's dying. Oh. Maybe not. Let me just, uh, dump a warping on these guys. Okay, he's dead. Let me get some dags. I got 40 health at least. Let's go grab his, uh, robe of willpower. I might put that one on. It's got 9 armor class 15 evasion. Oh, it's, uh, wait, was it 9? Can't be 9. 7 armor class 15 evasion. Goes, uh, 6 armor class. Right, so I lose a bit of armor class. But I do get the willpower. I should I think it's worthwhile. Um, I can unexclude this area now. Oh. Down and Juvesa, of course, because they always come together. Don't think Juvesa noticed me, though. So I might just go downstairs. I don't think I want to actually find them after all. Alright, what was I on? I can't remember what level of the dungeon I was on. But I think I might just go back to where I was up to. I don't think I'm quite tough enough to find any of the... Uniques that I know about. Oh, okay. Where's my next staircase? There's a shield again. Oh, there's the Unseen Horror. I don't actually know where that one is. Did I bring it up? Oh, I didn't bring it up. If I could bring it up into a corridor, it might be alright. Alright. What does that greatsword do anyway? It's a plus two greatsword. Do whites ever have... They don't ever have the triple swords, do they? That would be kind of terrifying seeing a white could be along with a triple sword. But they often do have the greatswords, which they can hit for a lot of damage with. Alright, yeah, this bow is definitely slightly better than my old one. Um, I just gotta leave those bees be. I mean, I might be able to fight them, but I might actually take these, see what they lead. Oh, okay. That seems easy enough to use. Uh... Right, got rid of the knolls, and there's that just leads to the other side of the bees. I see how that is. Might as well keep on going downstairs. Uh... <laughs> Man, I don't want to take me to the downstairs, I just want to take me to all the portals. Um... Hmm. See, I'd... good old Unseen Horror. Alright. We gotta then follow. Has it not noticed me or something? Anyway, I'm just gonna leave it in that little room. I don't think I gotta worry about that one. Yup, it's perfectly stuck in there. Come on, have an old bow. No, it's a short bow. Oh well. I'm not wearing my ring of fire, am I? I should put that one on. Alright, and of course, take it off afterwards so I'm not vulnerable to cold. Um, can I get the invisible? I don't think so.
Is that uh, guy's going to be a problem? No, I definitely can't, because I couldn't see the Unseen Horror before. Alright. I guess I find two Yags at once. Hopefully not a problem. Oh, there's a little bit of distance, but I think I might just go... Down here to the actual proper choke point, where I can kind of fight these one at a time. Oh. Uh. Wait, wasn't there something wrong with the staircase? No, no, it looks fine. Oh, the right at the shadow, of course, they had no see invisible, so those do a lot of damage. Well, I guess we go down the third staircase. Oh, hey, centaur. And the, oh, hey, it's got an old bow for me, Axel, that's what I want to see. Um, oh, this guy's got a long sword palate armor, so it's very well armored. If I polymorphed it, would it get better? It would turn into a killer bee, a center, or a bat. I'm gonna give it a try. Hey, it's a killer bee. That's not too bad. Made the drop all his equipment at least. All right, what is sort of ammo that is like whether it's useful or not? Um, what do I want? I want fighting to like 14, rage weapons like 16, I think dodging to like, I actually want a decent amount, I might just get it to 12 or something, so I feel like it's gonna, yeah, my dex is getting there, it's reflection, right. Oh, I might put on the reflection, I don't know, the acrobat was fairly useful, either one works. I don't have a shield stack with a reflection, unfortunately. Oh well, we'll give it a try. Unless I get like a hand cannon, then of course I could get a shield. I mean, a hand cannon would kind of be ideal for this character, but you usually find one of those in bolts, not like this early on. Um. Ooh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, maybe going in there's not the best idea. I might just wait for some of those creatures to pop their head out of there. Oh, okay. So I've got a shop trying to sell me a tower shield. That's okay. An ancient kite shield. Also, I think they need hand cannons. But the swamp dragon armor, maybe. It's pretty expensive. But it does give poison resist, so I might have to get it at some stage. Depending whether I find another source of poison resist or not. Um... Oh, there's a boulder beetle, isn't there? That's, hmm. That's a bit of a problem, actually, I think, because they don't have any curaris on me. Oh, Shadow, I guess I'll fight it. Whew. No, but this wasn't an absolutely terrible idea. I am damaging it. Okay, there we go. Now this poison not start any of the curari. Did I have resist corrosion? I kind of feel like I might have had that one. Oh, I just got the rings. I dex. I should definitely put that one on. Would I grab the dex strength and end rig? Um, don't remember grabbing those, but apparently I got all of them. Alright, well the dex was the obvious one to put on with this character, using a bow and everything. I think they gave me a little bit of evasion, 23 damage, that's alright. Alright, I can also identify teleports, which is nice. Oh, I'll do another scroll, why not? Vulnerability, I have uh, something that targets that polymorph. I don't have a lot of things that target willpower. Ooh. Hey there, big centaur guy. Uh, okay. You know, I think being in a center here is actually a really bad idea, but it's not a teleport. Um, in fact, I might just leave that area, yeah, might just have to leave the area in the center. I think there's some rather tough creatures in it that I'm not 
kid it out to deal with uh, Godzilla Invincible. I mean, that could be good against all those, like, anti horrors and stuff. Like, it dropped the degeneration potions, so it's not gonna do much for me. I might as well put it on with this guy. Like, it should make it, um... Pretty easy to deal with. But I can swap between the sea invisible and the resist corrosion as needed, basically. Um, what would I rather have? The troll earth rubber or the willpower? I might actually try out the troll earth rubber. Get to regen. I'm not actually sure which was better, though. What can I enchant them? Either my boots? I might do my boots or my armor. If I haven't decided on the body armor yet. I got exactly 100 hit points. Nice. I should be able to bring one of these slime creatures up. And I reckon one on one of slime creatures is not too bad, so there we go. Oh, that's definitely where I need the willpower, right? Roger, 38% on banishment. If I put on the rope of willpower, she's on 12%? Oh, come on. Well, I can't find her anyway, but I guess I'll keep the rope of willpower on for this level, just in case I bump into her or something. Oh. Let's go to another staircase. Um Let's jump the wrong one. I'm gonna shoot the actual threat here. Actually if I go down there we go, that separates it from all the stuff. Um I can't just go up that staircase, can I? I've got to find another one, I think. There'll be like a set or warrior and stuff. Um, I don't mind about those guys, I guess. Let's just go downstairs. I'm leaving quite a few creatures upstairs. Which could make it dangerous, like if I had to like, run up a staircase or something. Well, hopefully that'll be fine. Or oh, the blink spell. Sure. It can definitely be good, like, when you go down a staircase and get surrounded, you can pop back up and read the blink scroll or whatever. In fact, I might just get a type of a skill, like, uh... I don't know, three skills, something in the evocation, not evocations, transvocations. Should get it castable. Oh. Hey, I can see it invisible with my see invisible board. Um... Is that a boulder beetle? It was a boulder beetle. Still don't have the curare. I do have a... I do like a scroll of poison, but I'm not sure that's what I want to use here. Hold up. I want to do... Actually, I might... I don't quite work either. That's just supposed to be in another corridor. Um... Oh. I have the willpower right now, which means I can easily get petrified by this guy, right? Ah, it did get me. I knew it did get me eventually. I think this is fine, though. We'll see. Yup. I do survive getting petrified. Okay. Kill two in an ogre. How's the blinking go anyway? 26% failure. So I reckon I can get that one cast without too many problems. Um, I gotta try these poison darts on the boulder beetle. That should do a lot. It should be vulnerable to these ones. Oh. Poison me up. That's not the right way around. All right. Oh, I didn't get hit by the boulder beetle on the way up, but oh well, I guess, uh, I had still wounded, I'm not, so I guess that's something. Um, I'm actually gonna quiver up these boys' darts for a little while. Let's go wake up a roach, uh, alright. Might just go, like, unquiver them so I don't, uh, what? That's not it. Unquiver the boys' darts so I don't accidentally throw them at things when I mean to use my 
bow because I often do that by mistake when I've got nets, quiver, not nets, stars quivered up or something. I go to the lab. I'm missing, missing a lot of reserves. Like, do see invisible though. Uh, how useful is that in the lair? Maybe not the most useful. Oh. Uh, I might pop one of these poison scrolls. There's kind of a lot of stuff coming along here. Okay, it did move next to me, which is... I Means it's not setting the poison anymore, actually. Oh, that's probably fine. Maybe fine. I can't stand in the pause myself, though, which is a bit of a problem, actually. Ooh, it's actually doing a lot of damage to me. I'm not super keen on this. Uh, what do I have to help me out? I mean, I've got a scroll of fear. I might actually have to read that one, say these guys running. I think I will. I thought the fear worked with the poison. Did it just not affect the guy or something? Hmm, anyway, I guess that's fine. Because I know with a lot of uh, clouds, the things will like instantly turn hostile again, but I seem to remember like poisoning people and then popping the fear being a thing you could do to get them to run through the poison. Ooh, ow. That's a decent chunk of health to get to the other side of that guy. Um, okay. I don't think that frog can open the door, right? So it's just me with this one frog, thankfully. Uh... I don't kind of tiptoe around this place because some of these guys are kind of terrifying. Right, but at least my evasion's up to 20 now. Um, that's going to help a little bit. Oh, I've got a port. No, I've tragic. Oh, well. No, nah, tragic's not going to do a lot for me. Do I actually have curing with this character? Weirdly, I don't seem to have any curing. Do I have that identified? I might not have yet. Oh, I. No. Uh, oh, I do. Huh. But if Kyurig's identified, does that mean they just used them all or something? Alright then, I guess. Anyway, we've got a whip of freezing, which I don't need. I got some grapes. I remember grapes were like an actual thing in the game, but like, uh... They hardly filled you up at all, but you get like a bunch of them, so you get like, I don't know, ten or something. You have to eat them one at a time. It was always really funny. Going through the, the grapes one at a time, just repeating the eating them. Although that was before I knew about like the repeat key for eating things faster. Which probably would have helped out uh, in terms of eating things. Hey, the, the Jeeper guest, how was your stream today? Still doing the, um... Oh, what were they? They were no Reaver, right? See if I can do a shout out here. Oh yeah, that seemed to work. All right. That Noel Reeve has got to make some progress now, right? What if I've done a Noel Reeve? I don't think I have. I mean, should maybe try one at some stage. Of course, after this, uh, this Delvic, yeah. Oh, charming. I don't have a lot of ones. Actually, I do. I've got more whopping now. I've got five. Oh, you're gonna win with the Noel Reaver? Excellent, that's nice. How many wins have you managed to get? Because I know you won, uh, you won like a mummy a long time ago. I remember that one. That one was definitely difficult to get. Was it like a mummy monk or something? Ooh. And you got the Berserker win, right? It's like a slick of freezing. I will check this out. It's probably not that good. It's a 70 damage, 0.8 attack delay. It was 25 damage. Yeah, no way. Uh, 0.9. Technically, there's no way that branding makes up for the damage there. Uh, 
All right, well, I can go back up, but I think I dropped... Oh, there we go. Dropped down a couple of levels, so I can go all the way up. Oh. Let's back up here. Um, I do have a Charming, which I might just pop on this guy. There we go. They go rid of it. I don't know how to check your uh, name, Woods. Do you play... Actually, do you play offline or online? Because if, if you play online, it's pretty easy to check. Um, let me just go add the bot to check, because then I could check, see if you've got any online wins. Because it would just be like, uh, I mean, you'd either have to ask, well, I'm just using a lot of low bot, which is a Twitch one. So yeah, I'll just see if you, like, play under the name G, because, but I'm not sure if you do. Hey, that's fighting someone with the name Jeepicus. And that was just any game, so I want specifically one games. Um. Oh, your concerned frog is your main account, right? Okay. And if I just do one, you can see which ones you've won. You won eight times, and the last one was a four rune. No reaver of Gozak. Oh, yeah. Um, but you should be able to get it to list out the combos as well. I'm actually not sure exactly how to do that. Straight S equals combo. See if that works. No, nah, there's no... Not combo, it's something else. I'm just not sure exactly what it is. Alright, I also wanted my bus. That was not too bad. I mean, can, I know how to do it, like, a uh, sort by race, um, a sort by, uh, I think it calls it class, is it background? So you've managed to win, uh, oh, you've won, you're trying to win, is it trying to win every species or something? Because those are definitely all unique. You've got, a uh, Brachy, Demon Spawn, Genie, Gargoyle, Null, Minotaur, Mami, and Ogre. Oh, yeah. I think the only one of those that doesn't exist anymore is the Ogre, right? They got replaced by the Oni. That doesn't help with progress. I could just shoot this Hydra, I think. Is that... No, oh, it was a good distance away, thankfully, because it was um, not easy to kill. Oh, good, I get more decks. So I got 21 Evasion. 22 Evasion, right. So it's not at the point where I get, like, almost one each time. Are you doing different races each time? Oh, they did replace the Ogre again. The, uh, I guess that hasn't actually made it. Hasn't made it to Sable yet. There's like an Oni now. It's kind of similar to an Ogre. Except... It's got horns. <laughs> uh, ow. This is fine, though. I want to kill the almost dead elephant. There we go. In fact, there's actually quite a few races with horns, because the Minotaurs have horns. The Demon Spawns sometimes have horns, but not always. What else has horns? I mean, the Oni do now. Maybe there's not that many races with horns, it just seems like quite a few. Eight-headed Hydra again. <laughs> it does a beefy Hydras, ooh. Oh, no, it's Willow the Wisp. Um, I can put on a ring of fire. Now what? Do I find this right now? Maybe. Oh, it's got infinite willpower, doesn't it? Um, I guess I tried shooting it. Oh, hey there, Fanna. Kill the Willow the Wisp, though. Which means I can finally take off that fire ring. But I can't put on any sort of cold... Oh... Can't put any sort of cold resist. Um, uh, that the resist corrosion might be the thing to put on. Not that it helps with fatter. I just gotta run away, I think, with fatter. Frog's faster than me, but it's probably fine. Oh, the wyvern's way faster. They do stop fatter doing their thing, though, which is something at least. But yeah, I just gotta retreat up to the staircase. Fortunately, a lot of these guys are gonna get around me by the time I get there. There we go. 
All right, now that the snack guys, I gotta check for cold resist because I don't think I've got one. Uh, I don't have one of those. That's such a shame. Do I have a potion? No, it would have shown the potion of resist if I had one. You guys think a blink frog as defense from Fat was maybe not a good idea because it uh, blinks away and then I'm left in the firing range. Yeah, that was maybe not the smartest. So uh, Fat has got resistance. Um, I guess Fat is like Blink Frog as well. Everyone's blinking away from me. I will try to leave the Blink Frog alive. There we go. It almost going to protect me from the refrigeration. It's not perfectly. Um, well, now I'm going to re ice just in case I try to get an ice cave or something. I had a robe of cold resist as well for an ice cave. All right, there's the swamp. I wonder if that was ever guarded or not. Oh. Rhyme Blight? Man, there's another spell? Okay, let's look at this. Um, who's adding all the spells? It's an Ice Necromancy spell. Afflict a living demonic or holy creature with a magical plague that slowly freezes them from the inside out. Victims take AC ignoring cold damage each turn. And as their disease progresses, shards of crystalline ice may erupt violently from their flesh, damaging nearby enemies and even spreading the affliction to others. The disease feeds off the necromantic energies released by its host's suffering, and as they near death, it may accelerate rapidly, devouring the last vestiges of their body and leaving nothing behind but a twisted pillar of Stygian ice. Well, that's a uh, fairly nasty sounding spell. Okay, so it's got the primary damage. Explosion damage. Okay, then. Man, I need to play another Ice Elementalist. I had a plan to play, like, a, um... Deep Elf Ice Elementalist, I think. But then there was also the new Earth spells as well. I can't even keep up with all these new spells. They're adding faster than I can try them out. Alright, we've got the snake pits here, which is nice. I do like to see some snake pits. I feel like that's going to be one of the easier lab branches, at least for me anyway. Um, I do need to get poison for this before I go there, though. Otherwise, it's not going to be the most pleasant experience. Oh, just the intelligence ring. Man, if I was a caster, I would take that, but no, I'm not a, not a caster today. Very much gone full on in for this character. Not in, uh, decks for this character. Alright. Well, I'm done with level 4, so I guess that was a very empty level. But I guess one level left to this lair. Oh, hey Hydra. Probably gonna have to swap staircases, we'll see. Mm. Oh. Yeah, because otherwise I'll end up right next to the Tydra. Um, I don't end up right next to a shark either, because I do have blood, so I will send a berserk. Don't have a lignification. I can hit it with a warp and get it a little bit further away from me, maybe. But there's lots of other creatures coming along as well, which could be a problem. Well, so much for that warping. That doesn't send it anywhere. Alright. Um, I can run low on this warping, aren't I? Remarkably, it hasn't been zoned up yet, or even mighted up for that matter. Alright, that's better. I can just head down here, I guess. Fight these guys one at a time. I think there was a rhyme drake in here, which is probably not too bad. Whatever this level is, it doesn't seem to be the ones with the lake on the center, because those always surround the same staircase terribly. Um, and this hasn't really surrounded me at all with creatures.
Got Jiva, but I don't think I can worship Jiva. I gotta try though. <laughs> nope, still can't worship Jiva. Oh, it's kind of funny trying every god I come across. I could take it to a wall, but then what? Um, you know, I probably should. If I get into this wall, then I put on some. Yeah, we'll do it right now. I just think of like putting on some fire resist, but for some reason the Hydra just backed off. Mm. It is four headed. This is probably fine. There we go. I think I might have got lost. I probably got a little bit of stealth, but I didn't think it was that much. I got like four bits of stealth. Yeah, it's not that much because I started with a little bit of stealth skill and I got a good dag, so I guess that kind of gives me a little bit. Alright. Five to Hydra, but I got a good distance on it. Yeah, those are. They seem to be getting easier and easier the more Hydra's I fight, probably because my damage has gone up at 28. Used to be like 25 or something. It's gone up a little bit. Uh. Can I just get the attention of some of these guys? Okay. Got the attention of all of these guys, of course. Uh, can I just get this away from me a little bit? Not really. Can I get this guy mind buster? Not really. Can I... I mean, I might have to put it in a net. Hmm. I just tried shooting at it a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's doing badly. Um, I might actually just teleport out of here. All right, there we go. I mean, hopefully I can find that guy from full health. Oh, no, it's not. It's a forest with four dragons, okay. I'm not going to go into that because there's going to be... Well, there's already a poison guy here, but there's going to be more poison guys here. Um, <laughs> There's going to be one that like, does actual poison clouds, a swamp drake or whatever it's called. And uh, without the poison resist, I can't find it. Although if I save up a little bit of money, I can get swamp dragon armor, I suppose. There we go, that's a way easier way of killing the Caterpillar for having a good distance, so oh, no. Oh no, I don't, um... Uh, I don't know if I could just, like... Um... Oh, I might read my last time, but it's just a shame. You know, I might go to the dungeon for a little while. I think I'm up to dungeon level 12 now. And then I'll, I'll eventually come back to the ending, to the um, lair, if I remember, which hopefully I will. That's not right. Uh... Dude, I think it's heading me with like a dagger venom or something. I still think it makes sense to run back. Oh. This is actually not working, is it? This is a problem. Because I can't get this guy with a fear. Actually. Oh, I'm in big trouble. I gotta read this portion of haste. Um I don't think I've got any other option here, really. Oh, whoops. Gotta keep this guy at a reasonable distance as well so it doesn't get up to me. That was a, yeah, not a good way to fight that guy, clearly. You know what? I might just try going to the Orcish Mines. Um, Alright, just more to this level. You know what? I probably can do the rest of this level. So I know there's a kind of a nasty vault here. It's probably fine.
Uh... That's like the tactic that upgrade is. Oh, I don't think I had a cloak yet. No, it looked like it. I don't think I could. Oh, I can chant something. I could do the. I might do the boots though, because those ones are already plus one. Oh, I just hide around this corner. Bro, I'll bring. There we go. Deep knowledge just uh, nice and close so I can shoot it. Alright, there we go. Nice and finished off this level. One other. Where do I have to go? I guess just the Orcish Mines is probably the sensible place to go now. Given the trouble I've been having in some of the other branches. Maybe the orcs will try and sell me something good. Maybe they won't. You never really know. Oh, those are some beefy creatures right there. I gotta back up to the staircase. I'm surprised none of those other guys are still following, like, the orc wall and stuff. Um, but I suppose that's fine if they're not. They don't have to if they don't want to, I guess. Oh, come on, just hit this guy with an arrow. What do I have that's good against Snor? Because she likes the Berserk up. Um, can I polymorph into something that can't Berserk? Norm Spider, Windraker, or Manticorp? Oh, it's not even that good a chance, so I don't think it's worth doing. Uh, I'm about to teleport. You know what? I'm going to hit him with a scroll of poison. At least you'll be poisoned. Oh, she didn't drop her armor because that would have actually been good. It would have been like what I'm wearing, except better, I think. Yeah, well. Um. Is an armless worth you? I was like, let me go check that out. So it does 42 damage with 1.2 attack delay. This does 20. Uh, 8 damage. I don't know. I mean, it's about the same, I think. I might put one on anyway. It's better at, like, getting things with heavy armor, I suppose. Um, this guy's kind of getting up to me. Oh, well. Uh... Alright, I'll check out this guy, Diabolus. Probably just another plus zero Diabolus. Yep, of course it is. That's what they all seem to be. Although, I have, like, at least one scene that had cannon in the Orkish Mines. Oh. A Minotaur? Okay. Not too used to seeing those in the Orkish Mines. It's probably that one, but it could be that one. Hills almost certainly shops. Oh, yeah, that was a shop. I will go check it out, see what this is for me. So it's a uh, resist electric, resist poison, willpower, the invisible spirit guardian. Spirit guardian is not the most useful, the rest of the stuff that is pretty nice. There's also a ring of protection. Um I the resist corrosion of the decks. It could be alright instead of resist corrosion or something. You know what I might grab this amulet. I know it's kind of expensive, but it does give a lot of resists. But I might even put it on, because I don't even need my magic points. Um, that's a auto, right, okay. It'll be to a B.O.G. or something. There we go. That's where I need to be. So I can drop some of these old, like, short balls and junk like that. A plate of a leather of a face. Uh, I don't even need the Samus board anymore, do I? It really needs a noise. Alright, now that clouds out my inventory. Enough to go in and fight a Minotaur at least. Do I have a cold resist in case I want to fight that ice statue? It's guarding just an amulet. I mean, it might be good, but I just kind of bought myself an artifact amulet. Oh, this guy, I might be able to put on some willpower, but it's, oh yeah, 50% of bash, but that's doable. Got an artifact cloak, which I think my cloak's nothing special. Um, I'll say how, but I can't wear. What do I have in Tenet, right? Yeah. Not an artifact one either. That's not an artifact either, okay. Uh, that's a haste potion, which is kind of nice. 
All right, well, I get to decide with each one. I don't think I'll go for the Artifact Diablo. I think I'll go for the Haste Potion. Yeah. I don't have a resist negative, so I hope these guys are fine. That's not too bad. So where's my choice here? Got a choice between a potion or an amulet. You know what? I might just try the potion because I don't think the amulet's gonna be anything that good. It's not even an artifact. All right. Um, cyan potion. I don't think I can identify anything right now. What's my next choice between a cloak and a tablet I can't wear? I think the cloak's the obvious choice. I don't have willpower, so this guy can't banish me. Um, I kind of worried about how many guys there are in here, though. Alright, I mean, I guess it's fine. Oh yeah, no problems at all. What was the cloak that I got given? It was a plus two cloak of fire resist. And resist negative. Two fire resist, two negative. That's great. Yeah, let's put this on. Um, so I'm missing cold resist, but everything else is looking pretty decent. I could probably also go back to my troll of the rubber. I've also got that rover cold resist if I want to top out the cold resist. But those resists are looking amazing. They went from looking not so good to looking amazing pretty quick. Alright. Um, what do I do against a minotaur anyway? Hmm. I shall to try to track the route. Oh, didn't want to follow. It's got a ring of resist corrosion, same as all magic points. It's got a halberd on it. It can smack me with that halberd, unfortunately. Um. Right, I see that's a dead end. So I think I might be able to get like another way into where it uh Hides this treasure. I don't think I can polymorph it right. 1%. It turns into a Storm Dragon, a Black Draconian, or a Catablephus. Yeah, no, those aren't that great. I can do a Scroll of Poison so it has to sit back into its Javelins. Might have to do a Fear as well. No, Fear of Taste or something as well. Um. Oh, I did want to move into melee range. That's awfully convenient for me, actually. Because I sit in the poison nicely. I don't really need that resist corrosion am uh, rank. I don't think it's that good. So I got my poison scroll back. I got another scroll. I got a silence. Oh, I got a curing. I got a two does one scroll. Vulnerability. I care about the amnesia. I don't think I care about the chainmail. Let's get out of here. That wasn't too bad. And I got an awesome cloak out of all that. So I can't complain too much. One of these guys that are guarding the older... Oh, a bunch of ogres, apparently. Uh, scared yeah, the plus the Aerobolus. But those Cobalt Blast Miners could in theory had some good stuff. What about the older uh, explorers doesn't want to open any of those doors? I mean, it's not a problem, it's just kind of interesting that it doesn't want to. Uh, this is not a bad choke point. I think I can just kind of stay here. Yeah, there we go. Now I can look at the shop, see what it's trying to tell me. That's something in the way of armor. Plus five Shadow Dragon armor of Harmon minus cast. I don't think it's that special. There's also some plus one gloves. Right. Oh, wait. No, never mind. Those aren't that good. I got plus two gloves. I obviously enchanted my armor already. Alright, uh, let's just do an altar down here, right? I think I just hide in here. They try and kill some of these guys. 
There we go. Now I've got a kind of a choke point. I just kind of worried that I've got no teleport, that that might actually matter in situations like this. I mean, it doesn't matter against those guys, but um, yeah, in general, the Orcish Mines might matter. None of these are ranged right. There's a Trident, but it doesn't matter. It's mainly like basic clubs, which is kind of funny. Hopefully I get like a scroll shop to sell some teleports, because that would be nice. Um, do you have two shops left to see what those sell? Weapons and armor. So we've got a broad axe, glowing orc bow. I mean, I guess I could try the glowing orc bow. Plus four orc bow of draining. All right, then. And we've got a crusted scale mail. No, I don't think I worry about that one. That one looks kind of tough. Um, hmm. Uh huh. Obviously, get into the choke point, and then I guess I just shoot these guys. Plus zero weapons again. Yeah, plus zero weapons. But I got the Orc bow, so I'm fine for a decent length of time, I think. Where's my upstairs case that I haven't explored? Oh, I should actually go down again, shouldn't I? Otherwise, I'm just going to be getting myself kind of surrounded by creatures. Alright, what's on the ground? The other thing worth getting is plate armor cold from this, which I'm definitely not into the heavy armor being a ranged character. Anything on the ground here that's worth using? Uh, lots of scrolls of noise. I'd probably drop those myself, actually. I got the robot willpower. Right, okay. Well, I'm going back to the dungeon. What scared me off? Oh, the skeleton warriors or something. I don't know, I remember there being something here. I have a mark stepping on. What title am I even going for? I, I don't know if I had one of those set aside. I've probably been a merry demigod already, unfortunately. Um... Let me just check that. I've been Devastator, Shapeless, Acrobat, Divide Barricade, Divide Blade, Evocator, God of Death, Intangible... Mike's demigod of Peltus. Oh, I haven't been a Mary, uh, Mary God or whatever it is. I think it's Mary demigod, but it should be definitely should be Mary God. Maybe it is. It's probably not though. What's up with this dude? Got an amulet of reflection on. That's not gonna help me, but oh well. Guess I'll shoot at it. See how many of the bolts of reflects back. Man, leaving this toe after the Orcish Mines was definitely a smart plan with how many creatures there are in here. Did I ever get the Resist Corrosion? I still got the Ring of Resist Corrosion on. Right, because they don't really have anything better, do I? Um, I don't think so. All right, well, uh, what, three more levels of the dungeon than Snake Pits, I think, is going to be the correct ordering for this character. Um, I guess I probably still keep with my region armor. Also, what's going to be seen invisible anyway? That's my Ablet, isn't it? These look fine. Okay, good. Everything is dying nice and well. 16 skills is enough for the range right now, although at some stage I need to get a little bit higher. You know what, I might just get like uh, some dodging, um, a little bit of translocations, and a little bit of evocations. Is invocations even a skill for a demigod? No, it's not. Oh, so even if you did manage to trick the game into giving you, like, a Templar Quad or something, you might not be able to get a god title because you might not be able to trade the Invocation skill. Alright, let's uh, identify... I guess a potion. Heal wounds, nice. Those ones are always extremely useful early on. 
Aus Manifold Assault, the Spouse of Jail's Gravat Disjunction. Um. Maybe try and get a disjunction later. Not just judge, a dispersal later on. Is that actually what I even got? I don't know. It could be worth getting. Uh, I'm gonna split these up. <laughs> these look kind of tough. Uh, especially that added. It all those could hit for large amounts of damage. If you're not careful, I've had a character die somewhat recently in the August Mines to an added. Um. I mean, I could have gone escaped the situation, but I didn't play things very carefully and it did not pay off. Alright, got the vaults. Obviously, going to the vaults right now would not be a smart plan. But I do have, like, all the resists I need for that. No, I don't. I need the cold resist for that. But I do have a row of cold resist, so I guess that kind of counts. We got Yara's, um, will this character get Yara's? I don't know, it's definitely the sort of uh, spell that like a mummy character would get or something, but I'm not sure about this uh, Debbie god. Because I, I can actually use like potion cancellation and stuff, and also can't really use on myself very well, like uh, mole mutate myself, which is fine if you're on someone that's mute to mutations, but not so much on Debbie god. Kind of like my set of mutations, actually. Um... It's all gonna be if they're all gonna be cold ones, I might just put on this uh cold resist robe. They'll probably change color pretty quick. But maybe not. I can actually change the color on purpose if I want to with my one wand of polymorph. That wasn't too bad. But this might be what I want to do with this one. Sort of, like obviously can't change robes in the middle of combat. God, Dyson's Ghost? They don't do much. They do Sandblast for 3d50, which does add up. 69 health? Did they delve down here or something? Because that doesn't seem like a lot of health. Like, I'm meant to be the delver in this situation, but they're the ones that's been doing the delving. Okay, well, I might just go kill them, because they're not going to do a lot to me. They weren't even a Formicid, right? I don't know how they got so deep. I guess they just went straight down and ignored the lair or something. Because I know some people, uh, sometimes when you're used to the game, it's uh, very tempting just to try and go straight down the dungeon. And then do other branches. Because the game doesn't really, like, tell you the branch order. You've either got to figure it out the hard way, or look it up, I guess. But they're kind of your options. So I might get polymorph that guy as well. Uh, I had lots of positive energy resistance from my shield, so, I uh, not shield cloaks, so I don't need to worry about that one, thankfully. Alright, well, I might be able to fly. Might not be able to fly. <laughs> sure. Uh, we don't want to be, the dust level the dungeon, I guess, is where I want to be. Just a regular orc bow, I think. Yeah, lots of regular orc bows around here. Actually, if my willpower would be good enough. Oh, it's a little bit of badge, but maybe I should, mm, I should have swapped. No, I don't think I could have swapped robes. I don't know. It's fine, it's dead. Let's just get some decks. Hey, I got two evades now, that. And up to 35 damage with a 0 0.7 attack delay. That seems pretty good to me. This is a problem. I'm not going to be able to retreat up here so well. Um, I might actually try retreating up at least into the corridor. Uh, I'm going to emulate some of these guys. I think that's going to be fine. They do have two fire resist. Because those the laughing skulls are quite fire resistant, so not perfect against those ones. There we go. I think they got everything that was after me. Gonna check on the gods? Nope, still not letting me have a god. 
I don't know. It's not as important if I can't get the titles anyway. Because that would be the, the whole point of the one who worship a god. I mean, it would obviously be overpowered giving a demigod a god, but... Um... Can't remember that scimitar. Yeah, my main reason to want to worship them was to get a... Get a title. Alright, well, we've got uh, my dead fire, which I can use on the smite. Alright. What's this dude shooting me with? It's doing a lot of damage. Just an obelisk, but... Hmm... Don't suppose I can charm it. Maybe. I gotta do the vulnerability. So I have a decent chance of being able to charm it. 55%? Ooh. Bogger's gonna die, which is probably a good thing. Oh. What's my Yagdor doing? That's alright. Uh... Oh, now it's an hostile. Oh, no. That's the not work at all. I'm gonna have to read my last teleport, unfortunately, I think. Oh, wait, does that even notice me? Uh, oh, ouch. And I think that's gonna cost a healing potion as well. I mean, it did get me out of there eventually, but not a pleasant time. Man. So much for, like, uh, charming the actual captain, though. <laughs> it turned also just the wrong time. Uh... Do I need some ice dragon up? I'll pick it up, but it was probably a little bit too heavy. Like a source of ice resist or something. Alright, at least with the sandals I can get up to them, but they switch away to their melee weapon. I don't think the Yagdor captains do, right? Hey, Sandor, what? How goes the crawling? It's uh, going pretty well. I've got a demigod kind of going here. I've uh, unfortunately killed a few demigods today, but that's Delvis for you. Alright, I might get the range up to 18 so I can swap to pretty much any weapon apart from a longbow. Um, I actually do think I should get a lot of dodging and maybe a bit of fighting as well. You know, let's just get everything to 18. There's not a lot of other skills to get unless I want to get into some wand, uh, wands or something. Okay. Oh, maybe the Yagtor character does swap to Malik, um, actually. Just like the Yagtors do. Alright, there we go. Now the Yagdor captain down. Oh man, there's probably even more of those ones. How about you, uh, Sando one else? Your... Have you been playing any games recently? <laughs> even if they're not cruel, how's your games been gone? Uh, it's gonna reflect, yeah, reflect the damage, of course. Oh. Probably stop reflecting damage soon. There we go, just in time. Okay, don't think I need any of this stuff, unfortunately. How's my willpower? I think this guy can dull oh, 8% of the paralysis. Hmm. I mean, I don't think there's anything I can actually do to get that better in a hurry either, unfortunately. Uh, because I do have, like, the, the whole, like, ice dragon armor, but... No ice dragon armor, the whole willpower armor. But I can't swap it in a hurry. Drop the intelligence, strength, reflection, poison resist, acrobat. I think all those things are not that useful anymore. Now that I've actually got a pretty decent ablet going. Well, decent in terms of resist. And I guess a spirit guardian something as well. Um, for a character that actually doesn't use magic points. This dude flying or something, he's got a ring of flight. Can I have that one? Because I kind of do think I need that one. 
Any new spells have got less effect than teleport on the Maxwell's pile drive. Those are all like old spells. Although admittedly pile drive isn't that old. Um I can enchant up either my armor. I don't actually know what to enchant up with an enchant armor. It's gotta be something, right? I got some invisibility. Excellent. I haven't played anything since you killed five mugs in a row the other day. Or the other week. Man. What sort of mug were you going for? Like, there must have been some sort of decently hard start, like a mummy mug or something. Uh, I don't know, I personally haven't found mugs too bad, but... Oh, just really bad at melee, it seems. Oh, right, because you play a lot of mage characters. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. And the monks are very much sort of melee with their whole high decks. Oh, ooh. That looks like a longbow. It's not a brand up or anything. If I could brand that one up, which I'm not sure if I had a brand weapon. I do have an enchant weapon. Um. Hmm. Got a quiet blinking brand butterfly. No, I can't just random read things. Minus teleport, resist electric, that amulet does not seem worthwhile. Scarf for repulsion, maybe. Mm, what can I drop? There's gotta be something I can drop. You can drop the ring of fire, obviously. Um, and I got two fire just for my cloak, anyway. Oh, I do want the ring of ass, there's all the stuff I want. I think I could probably drop the ice dragon armor. I think it's too heavy, anyway. Right, so what do I want to do? I don't think I want to put on... Uh... My cloak's actually really good. I don't think I need that scarf for resistance now that I think about it. I want to think about that bow. Let me just go check how the damage compares. So this is 36 damage. So I'm slightly worth attack delay until I get skill. 41. I don't think it's worth it just yet. Hey there, Sally. How's it going? Oh. How have you been going? Have you got any Dungeon Crawl games going? Got any demigods or bugs or whatever the things are that we're playing these days? Oh, really? I guess I'm getting a lob trapped. Doesn't look like there's a lot of choice here. Uh... I thought it seemed too bad that a love trap. Alright, um... Leather up, we have two slaying. Nine magic points. I don't think I care about the poison resist. That's actually interesting. Um... Drop the amnesia. I don't think I need that one. Because the, I've currently got the, uh, what's it called? The Spirit Guardian. So magic points are like health. Slag is decently good, but it's only two slags. So it's not that much. How much do I need my regen? I'm quite liking this regen. I'm not sure if that's a worthwhile swap or not. Are you seeing already games from months ago? You've been playing Rift Wizard 2. How are you liking Rift Wizard 2? It sounds like a game that I might want to try at some stage. Oh, an acquirement. I'll give it a try. It's a hat of decks. That's not bad. Care about the damn Don't care about the book of blasting. You know what? Let's grab the hat because I got like some antenna or something. Sifmata's Grace? Sure. Let's put it on. So it does give me armor class, but it does give me three decks, which is actually kind of nice. And looks fancy as well, so that's also nice. <laughs> that's how you judge a hat, right? Does it look fancy? No, I kind of like the, the look of, like, the, one of the things that kind of put me off, like, Rift Wizard was that, um, you didn't, like, get your health back between levels and stuff, so you kind of had to, I don't know, it was just uh, the fact that, like, uh, if you were do, did badly on one level, it would kind of carry over to other ones, um, but I think they got changed with Rift Wizard too, right, so that you get your health back between each level, I don't know, I really should give it a try. Uh, I think I'll identify. I'm gonna do a scroll. Oh, it's not branding. That's a shame. So I'm missing out on blinking, branding, and torment. So those are some pretty good things. 
unfortunately, that I'm missing. These all look fine. They don't look like anything that challenges me. Oh, it's pretty good. Lots of different things to mess around with. Oh, yeah. Because it's kind of all about, uh... Getting a build that works right, like kind of getting a set of spells that works together. So I feel like it would be a um, game that you definitely notice as you're getting better at the game, but imagine. What is that longbow? Just plus zero? All right. Go identify. I mean, I guess I just do a potion because I don't have the exact idea of these scrolls. So go identify. What is this? Plus seven obelisks of flaming, but it contaminates when you take it off. Um, that might actually be decent. Let me take a look at that. <laughs> okay, 56 damage, one attack delay. It'd be slightly slower though for my armor. With seven decks, and what if that gets taken into account? Your evasion would increase by 4.3 from the dags. I don't think I need to resist electric, but this is flaming. Um, I don't have to have like a death talisman or something so I can take this off. No, I don't. Okay, um, hold on. I gotta ask the bot to do some calculations for me here. So 38 divided by 0.7. 54. Hmm, the damage is quite similar. So yeah, this one gives decks. I think I gotta go with the one that gives decks. I know I'm gonna... Uh, contaminate's kind of scary, but I'm gonna go with it anyway. Right, so it actually does 61 damage because of the decks. Makes sense. Yeah, the moment is actually really good, so I'll, I'll keep on using it. That one, wait, 1.2 1 attack delay? 1.1? 1 .1? Oh, I'm actually on 17 skill. I thought I was on 18 skill already. I guess not. Um. Alright then. You know what? I might just focus the rage weapons for a little while, get that up to 18 skill. Hey, that could be a brand weapon for when I get my longbow going. Which, um. I don't know, it could be a little bit harder to get a longbow going when I got a. Contaminate weapon, unfortunately. Um, I mean, you can use the cancellation, which I don't have, to get rid of. I don't think I have it. Yeah, I don't. To get rid of contamination. And it actually works these days because it didn't use to work. It was bugged up for ages. Uh, I don't need a ring of fire. Definitely not. I've already got one. Oh, do to banish me, Jeeva, because don't banish me. This character can't survive being banished. Well, maybe they can. They're level 16. It'll be a rough time if I got banished. Mm. Well, with this power, I definitely could be banished as well. Yeah, instead of resist... No, I'll keep the resist corrosion on. Since I could put on the resist cold instead, either one's kind of fine. I got banished last game, but I guess you survived if you managed to win your character. I read from the wiki it says that if you get enough XP's doors appear, or they appear randomly. Yeah, as you kill stuff, uh, doors do definitely sometimes randomly appear, but it's not the main way of getting out. I think the main way of getting out is just running around till you see an exit, but it does, uh, it does work sometimes. So you can find stuff to get the door, yeah. You definitely find, like, weaker stuff that you can find. Um, because for one thing, it stops it following you. For another thing, it does give you a small chance of getting an exit out. Hey, there we go. That's the range. Now we can get back into the whole dodging and fighting side of things. Oh, I, I got the rune. You thought doors appear after you pick it up? They're meant to appear a lot quicker after you pick it up. Um... And I think that's true. <laughs> it's hard to say for sides of know with how random it is. Uh, oh, but they don't. Uh, they no, they don't appear immediately. But it's a higher chance of spawning. Is what I've heard. If you've got the rune. I 
I don't know. I feel like it best is not something I do much outside of 15 room games. I leave until really late because I usually leave until after pandemonium. Oh, then your plan works. You have to uh, get the rune and then find your way out. No, oh, definitely, definitely a plan. Now step round back to the staircase. Okay. Hey, 42 of age is not half bad. I mean, it only goes with 12 armor class, so I'm not exactly well protected, but I got some defense at least. I'm completely defenseless. What is this? Just another good old longbow. Um, teleport? Yes, I'm very sure on the teleport. I don't know if I need a cure or not. No, I don't think I did. Oh, I heard the other high mic. It actually worked this time? Craziness. I don't know why that one decided not to work twice. Like, I looked through it, I, I turned it off and on again, like, disabled and then re-enabled the command. Um... No clue why I wasn't working before. I might emulate some of these guys. I know that there's multiple around me, which is not ideal. Alright, I think that's good. Mm, no, it's not working. I might just back up. I don't know. I didn't change anything with it. I really don't know why I wasn't activating before. I guess it's just a uh, Twitch being Twitch. And sometimes not working right. Because that I did use the like uh, built-in alerts for that one instead of third-party alerts. I don't know. The third-party ones sometimes seem a bit more reliable though. Although, I think some of those also don't work either. Alright. It's not seem too bad. I'm surprised I didn't have to put some cold resist or something on there. I probably should have. Oh, you've used stream elements and that works very well? Yeah, that's what I work for all the uh, useful, like, my, uh, sub emotes and not emotes, sub alerts and stuff. It's stream elements. I just decided to use the, um... Twitch built in one to see if it worked because it was there. Oh, hey, a blinking scroll. And it, I mean, it seemed to be working before. <laughs> you have some fear, right, in case I need to fear up these guys. Obviously, those ones aren't too bad, but like, they get surrounded by the warriors or something. Uh, that's very good that it's convenient all the dashboard. Yeah, I don't know. I was any. I mean, I guess you don't have to go to a separate place. You can just go to Twitch to get it. But I'm uh, kind of using a mixture of different places at the moment, which is probably the least convenient option, right? But it's not like I need to change it much. Uh, this is okay, although presumably I get surrounded. Well, not <laughs> okay. But if they don't want to surround me, I'll take that. Uh. I think a bit of regen when you're running away in situations like that keep you nice and healthy. So much dex, 51. Yeah, because my, uh, I'm getting 7 for my weapon. I'm getting 6 for my ring here. And then I'm a demigod, so, like, lots of dex from that. Which is really going to help me out. Um. I wonder what this weapon's, like, endgame comparative or not. Because it's, uh, I mean, it's only plus 7, but that's not going to matter. The main problem is the base type is novelist instead of something a bit better, but... I don't know, with the plus 7 decks on it, it might remain competitive. We'll see. Alright, with my rune, it's right here. I think it's carried this first rune. And I gotta go get another one, I think, for the swab. Um, swab does target cold resist. Does target resist corrosion as well. You know what? I might just put on the cold resist armor. Give that one a try in the swamp. See how that goes. Oh, so many guys that want to drag me off staircases here. Uh, swamp bombs, uh, I guess. What do the swamp bombs do? They lick you with their long tongue or something? 
don't know. Uh, might end up dropping that armor. They don't need the poison resist. Now, was the poison resist on my amulet? Yeah, it was. If I had the willpower on my amulet as well. There's a lot of things on that amulet. Lots of resist. Um, there was flying or resisting corrosion. Oh, okay, cancellation's good. I might even resist corrosion because there's the Goliath frogs, but it does mean I'll be really slow at moving. Oh, Jork runs up something. I've never seen the particular type of rock formation here. All right there, Jork run. Didn't really Jork run in like a dwarven accent, but it makes sense. I don't know what a hit that was. I can bring out the spiders. Do I have a sound scroll? Oh, I have a sound scroll. I might just use the sound scroll. Make them kind of useless. There are rock formation eggs, but I don't know if there's many rocks here. Like, there's just trees around. But apparently there are eggs, but in rock formations. I mean, that kind of makes sense. So they have like, do they have LRT? I think they do. So they're an expert of blowing up rock formations, if nothing else. A little rocket boat. What is this guy? It's Mops Ghost, a draconian berserker, a pale draconian berserker of Trog. They don't look that tough. Like 150 health is whatever. 23 damage? Plus 5 demon whip of chaos. Hmm. I think this is fine. Oh, and of course I should have waited until I did the rest of the level before I would fight these guys, of course, but I didn't. Because I always forget to do that, but it's fine. Uh, this must be something I could drop. I can drop. I don't really think I need the... Well, I definitely don't need to see invisible. I don't need that this corrosion see invisible, though the... The magic points are not terrible. Um, I don't know. I don't think I'll worry about it. Okay, Wave of Frost. I can revelations to get to that one. I got one cold resist. Hopefully that's enough. I can put on a second one though as a reg, which should be fine. Um, I need to go this way. Alright, in fact, I might do it right now instead of the, uh, resist corrosion. Yeah, because there's often, like, cold creatures just outside of these areas guarding them. Don't think I need that willpower. I don't think I need that longbow until I get, like, stuff to upgrade and everything. Um, probably done with the polymorph, maybe. I'll leave the job whip now, sorry, but I am going to have to come back for that one, definitely. Brilliance, okay, that'll do. I think there's plenty of inventory room. Let's go in and fight these guys. Yep, there's uh this is definitely a tough ice cave though with the uh, creatures it's got in it. All right. Those are uh not obsidian, what are they? The orange crystal statues are kinda of nasty with their shadow creatures. But at least that will let me run right up next to it, so could summon things in the way. Is that a natural knight or something? White draconian knight. Oh, yeah. This is definitely on the top side of ice caves. I'm worried this one will have like a... I don't know. An ice feed or something at the end. Ooh, rope resistance. I might as well. It's the same protective as what I'm wearing. Oh, is it even a white to match my hat? Makes sense going to die. Kind of makes sense, I don't know. It's cold resist. What have we got? Fire resist, I don't need. Magic points is okay. Evasion, able to regen. Another rope of resistance. I quite like this white one. I might just go with the white one. Alright, what else have we got? We've got a Magna Volt and a Maxwell's Capacitive Coupling. I really haven't, I haven't tried out that Magna Vault yet. I want to give it a try at some stage. But I need either an Earth character or an Air character. Or an Earth Air character, I suppose? Is that right? Is this Earth Air, right? 
Uh, scimitar. I'm not thinking anything I need here. I've got the robe already. Let's just get out of here. Also, I could probably put the... Resist Corrosion back on, I reckon. Yeah, those resists look pretty nice. Are these the uh, resists I could have bought the, um... I don't have a lignification? Okay. The resists I wanted to have are the bolts or something? They probably are. I could kill Roxanne, but I don't actually need a statue for him. I probably should kill her anyway. Just for the XP. Uh, no, actually, without the... No, I'll leave her, actually. Without the, um... The Midas Teleport, she can't be a problem. Actually, I might be able to find some gear of Midas Teleport. I feel like I've seen some of that lying around. You know what, Char? Because if, uh, if she can't teleport me in, she really can't do a lot to me, so, uh... Let's go kill her. I mean, generally, the other outlet would be better, because it gives, like, poison with this. Alright. Let's go downstairs. Oh, hey, Mara. I'm gonna... Mm, I'm gonna bring these up in case there's something more. She's gonna bring them back down, get rid of some of the Mara clones. Oh. Um, what skills do I need? My evasion's going up really well, so I'm actually gonna get some more dodging. And I was gonna get the, like, Mary Demi God title or something. I really hope it's actually Mary God instead of Mary Demi God, but I'm not sure it will be. I got a post of Berserk Rage. Potion of Lignification. Alright. Ah, uh, hey, Nicola. Um, I do have a scroll of silence. But I might just move up and read one, actually. There we go. He's pretty harmless now. The only problem is I can't, like, teleport out if I get in trouble. Of course I want decks. Let's get some decks. So I've uh, got 50 of age, and that's doing pretty well. Uh, I don't know to my last enchant but I'm pretty sure I had a pile of those. I guess I just dropped them to make room. But I might drop this one as well until I find something I want to enchant. I definitely don't need the Berserk, though. Because the Berserk uh, doesn't work with ranged weapons. Ooh. A lot of guys. You know what? I might just freeze some poison. There we go. <laughs> Means they have a way harder time throwing this around me when they're all dying of poison. I didn't even see what ghost was in that ghost vault. Key Babby's ghost. A demon spawn brigand. They have blood. They have uh, nine damage. They hardly do anything. What, do you, what on earth are they? Brigand of Dismetals? I guess Dismetals is not exactly a good god, but you'd expect them to still do some more damage with their weapon. guess they were trying to stab people, but I'm surprised they got this far into the game only doing nine damage. I guess the ghosts don't always do exactly the same amount of damage as the player, but still. That's some crazy low damage. Alright, uh, still nothing to identify, unfortunately. This is level 4 of the swamp, so there should be a rune in here, and maybe a Lunaean Hydra. I feel like this is the sort of character that can kill a Lene and Hydra, but I've got, I got some teleports now in case I'm back. I've got eight of those, because I was out of those ones for such a long time with this character. Or maybe you can't, uh... Or maybe you can, like, uh, resist sword or something, or... Friend sword of fate for the white gear? Yep, maybe I, maybe if I walked into a dissolution of salt, I'd be like camouflaged. No one would even notice I was there. All this, uh, all this white gear. Hey, there's a Lunaean Hydra. It's dying. It's dead. 
I thought this character would do fine against it. Uh, oh, you can loot dead, loot death, loot for free. Definitely, definitely with all this white gear paint. It's white cloak kind of white as well. Maybe it's sort of a pale gray. It kind of matches the rest of my gear. Everything does. Wait, are my gloves white as well? Probably. The only thing is that it's my, my obelisk here. I don't th think an obelisk comes in white, though. So. Okay, tear man, your game with the cloak kind of sucks. Yeah, I mean, the cloak's all right sometimes, but I often end up ignoring it because I need another cloak or whatever. But it's still a plus four cloak, so, like, can be useful, right? For characters that just need straight up armor class. Alright, some said you gotta go up, bring up three of these dudes. A oh, super good AC cloak. Yeah, what is this character's cloak? I mean, like, with this one, of course, this character wouldn't replace it, right? Because they got two fires on my cloak. Yeah, so I guess a lot of characters because they end up in those situations. It's like, well, it's nice for armor class, but it's not worth replacing what I'm doing. I need resist corrosion guaranteed, so you kept your resist uh, corrosion. Yeah, no. I feel like that's often what happens. Although I've heard characters get into like Zod with just a basic cloak and it's always a nice improvement then. Um gonna back up here, I think. Now these guys can see on the staircase, so I can just shoot at them from the staircase, I guess. Go up when I need to, which I didn't. What's my damage up to anyway? 50 no 67. I mean that's what a one attack delay. That's still reasonable though. Uh, I'll watch just leave the enchant weapon on the floor. I've probably got like seven of those at least. Maybe even more strewn around in various places. I reckon if I get a weapon, it's going to be a hand cannon, but we'll see. It's probably cool looking. I can't even remember what TMS cloak does look like. I don't know. Probably would look cool, but <laughs> who even knows? It's been ages since I used them. What's a wand of, uh, I don't have a quicksilver, do I? I've got acid. Okay. Mmm. Oh. I have very old few spiders. I probably should have started the teleport a little bit earlier. Yeah, I don't think that was quite a situation that I could do with uh deal with by just staying there. Unfortunately those vegetables those guys be might, I guess. A oh, plasma beam is, uh... Oh, T-Man is cold-blooded, so you, I could slow them? And plasma beam is so amazing? Yeah, plasma beam, I usually find it drops off by Zop, but before that, it's like a super amazing spell. I do like it. Um, I don't personally like fire elementalists, so I often end up getting on air elementalists. I find it a really good spell on air elementalists, because they don't really have a lot of other choices for their mid-level spells. Oh, there we go, Delva sounds like your kind of combo, uh, Sally. And I certainly found it was a bit hard to get one started. In fact, I think this one ended up starting with a dagger so I could stab things on the way up. Um, I think it was this one that did. But once it gets going, it's actually not too bad, alright. Can I identify... Oh, it's just torment, whatever. I just leave that one be, I think. I oh, want to do some Delvas too, uh... Yeah, G, because I think Delvas... I don't know. They're definitely one of the hardest starts. But also, they're not... I don't know if they're the worst start ever. I'll probably still take a Delver over like a Necromancer. Um... I've always had trouble with the Necromancer starter spells and actually getting into anything kind of decent. I don't need that cold this bro, I don't know why I'm carrying it around. Also, is this, this is not the character, this is the character that has the Vile Floods and stuff for sale. I should go back and get some of those. Unfortunately, that also means I need to go back and get some inventory room. Um, don't need to regen. The Willpower might actually be a thing that's worth wearing. Yeah, don't need that outlet. There's plenty of stuff I don't need. That gets me some inventory room. Alright, let's grab all three of these. 
You know what? Actually, it makes a ton of sense to have this willpower instead of the resist corrosion because you don't really need the resist corrosion in the vaults. Uh, I mean, there are like, the occasional entry weaver, but it's really not a thing you need. Love ones, do you? Because, yeah, I don't use the ones much with this character, but some characters, they really survive just on their ones. Book of Movement, any of these, like, uh, dimensional anchor? Does it even spell like that? No, dimensional bullseye. Um, I don't think so. Oh, damn, this is obviously a challenge run, but it's a uh, challenge top, but it's fun. Yeah, because you get... I mean, do what did they actually start with? Like, are they good with decks or something? I'm not sure. I feel like they start with a fairly like, even spread. I don't know, but once you're a demigod, it doesn't really matter. Your decks is going to end up amazing if you spank into decks. Hey, level 19, that's... Oh, that's right, demigods are like the slowest characters in leveling up. Um, she doesn't actually leave you much by, but you notice it was like one or two levels below what you'd be otherwise. Because I remember when I do like the challenge of winning before reaching, I don't know, before 20, realm 22, I think. I used a Delver, not a Delver, Demigod. This seemed to work fairly well. Uh, resist Corrosion, minus magic points, Fly, that's not quite what I'm after. Fly might be a bit more useful in the spot, but even then I probably wouldn't have won that because I would have needed the Cold Resist. You also always like demigod. Demigods, I used to not like them, but I, I used to have real trouble winning them. But I think like since I started doing more of the deck based demigods and the int based ones, actually I think I was doing the doing some of the int based ones before. But since I've started doing some of the deck based ones, I just find them quite fun. I don't even know if these sun oaks even hit me. <laughs> I'm afraid they're gonna have a hard time. Anyway, let's try the acquirements. So I get root poison to see if it's not that good. Uh, there's Plasmeme, Spellforge, Shovetor, Sticky Flame, Horrible Things, Small Mammals. I don't think that book's that good, but, like, you don't really need the money, either. Um... I don't need the boomerangs. I don't know why I'm carrying those as well. I could probably just read this for whatever. Ooh. Ooh, a Ring of Dags. I'm like, I actually kind of tempted just to double another Ring of Dags. Instead of the willpower. In fact, I might do it. 58 evasion goes to 63 evasion. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> I don't know. It's a little bit ridiculous, but hey. Who doesn't want to live for a little bit ridiculous, right? Um, You know what? I might actually just get some more dodging. I don't know if this makes any sense. So I might get some more. A little bit more fighting. Let's see how ridiculous I can get the evasion on this character. Or it's on, it's on 64. Yeah, I can definitely get it up a little bit higher. Let's see if I can get... I don't know, I can probably get 70 evasion. Maybe more? Maybe? We'll see, because I've still got a few more levels to go up as well. Uh, Rose makes out, so I don't think I've got anything to enchant right now. No, the fact that the enchant up is grayed out. Is that a few things to enchant? Actually, that means I can also go to my shopping list and I can go delete some of these items, like the Swamp Dragon Armor, the Ring of Tension. I can probably delete that shield as well, because, I mean, that's not going to be needed without a hand cannon. Even with a hand cannon, I prefer to have a bigger shield, I think. And I don't think I've actually seen a hand cannon. There's not one in here, is there? There's War Axe of Draining and Morning Star of Holy Wrath. Fulsions? No, nah, those aren't gonna help out at all. Oh, oh, you get rewarded with a bunch of free consumables if you make it with the devil star. What do you start with? You start with like a magic mapping or a revelation or whatever it is. A taste. And a fear, is it? I know some of the stuff is fairly decent. I was 10x 100 SM's ghost. They do 50 damage, they have 150 health. They're immune to fire, poison, negative energy. Alright, they're a pharmacist fighter of Okawaru. Um, I do 71 damage. More health, I think I can fight them. 
course I do it with another guy who can come along. Not that it mattered this time round, but yeah, finding them wasn't too much of a problem. There's always a good time when you're uh, being able to fight the ghosts uh, without too many problems, though. So I know a lot of characters, they decide to leave all the ghosts. It's like, no, can't do this ghost, it's too tough. We can't do this ghost either. There's always uh, creatures are too tough. What's, oh, I wonder what the chance of marking was. I don't think it's that high. Um, cause I, oh, I took up the willpower, actually. That's probably pretty decent, isn't it? Because I decided just to stack up the decks um, and have lots of evasion, 65 evasion. And it's stacked up the damage as well, so it's actually pretty good. I think having the decks so is the right thing. That's just a uh, silver sad you. It always looks like a Zed altar, except I think actual Zed altars look a little bit different from that. Um, why not simply dodge X with your dexterity? Exactly. I mean, you kind of can if you get the what is it, the Warlock's mirror or something, but otherwise, it's pretty hard to dodge them. I think Donald's just gonna die, right? Yup. He didn't even get all his buffs on before he died. The only sort of eggs I'm mainly worried about is like eggs with the paralysis, I think. The other things aren't too bad. Like if I get a mark or something, it's just more creatures for me to fight. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. Um, Let's back up a little. Did that... Reflects up back, it did. Oh well. Just a little bit hard to hit, it's like 50% of the head or something. I'm sure it's fine, okay. Ugh. I don't like those jellyfish with their like short duration paralysis, that could definitely be a problem. Alright, let's see what these guys are carrying around. I was the draining buckler of flash, and I don't think they would carry around anything too special. Alright, level 20. Level 21 is where I get to uh, get some more decks, so. I'm already on 66 of age. How's that going? A 23 skill? Oh, yeah. So I can probably get, I don't know, maybe another 3 of age from there. And then I can bring up my decks. That should be able to get me to 70. I think that's going to work. Uh, did I not find any, like, hand cannons with this character? Oh, I didn't. Alright, anyway, let's just go to the Elven Halls, and hopefully I don't need to worry about being banished. Um, but if I get banished, I might be able to take the rune and get out of here, I guess. Also, there's, a uh, Wizlab. It's, uh, it's gotta be this one. You know, the puff walls around, it's quite far away. Alright, well. I don't have any regen, so I'm not actually healing out that much while I'm exploring, which is a bit of a shame, but looks like I got to this whiz lab, no problems. I can drop. Oh, what can I even drop? I can drop. Mm, fire to those magic points, I think. Uh, drop my one to flame already. Guess I'll leave the identify outside. Amnesia's not needed. Do I have some brilliance? I think I dropped that already. Oh, mine's silly. Oh, trash is probably pretty silly. Yeah, there we go. Let's just head on it. It's uh, Maxwell's Workshop. I don't remember these ones being too bad. You've got to be a little bit careful, but I got the resist I need, so should be fine. Uh, don't need the ponderous plate armor. So it's an ice resist electric minus willpower, knighted minus two strength ring. Oh, the Thermic Engine? I'm not the right sort of character for that. If I was a Swords character, though, I'd totally take the Thermic Engine. I was kind of vaguely thinking about being Swords, but then I got a random sling with, with it. I was trying to banish me, Chief, because don't banish me. No, not the banishment. <laughs> isn't there, actually, isn't there, like, a botch command to banish someone? Um... I'm gonna try it. If I just say, like... Badish. I don't know. 
They banished you because of that work? Hey, it caused a spell. Banished you into the abyss. Escape that one. <laughs> Wait, you're using a you're using a wand there? Wait, what other commands are there? I know there are some other commands, right? Oh, again, it's like another ring of ice. How many rings of ice do I need? <laughs> like the answer is I don't really need them. Oh, zap to zap someone, right? Man, it's like so many of those super random bot commands. I can't remember what they will are. I think that you probably can find a list somewhere. Uh, I'm going to take the Uncharm weapon out of here. I mean, there's still some possibility that I end up using that. Even if not huge. I don't think I... No, I'll leave the identify. I probably don't even have enough stuff to identify for it to even matter. Um... These rings of ice are kind of entirely pointless for this character, I think, so I might just leave those. Alright. Well, that would have been good for another character with the Maxwell Thermic Engine, but I think I'm just going to leave. I did actually take out the Thermic Engine, just in case, I don't know. Just in case I want it as a trophy or something. Also, this ring of decks is very slightly better. It gives some intelligence as well. How's my dodging skill going? Pretty well. Oh, yeah. So what sort of shop is this? Because you do get shops in the... Elven holes, they actually seem relatively common. A oh, chainmail fire this well, that doesn't do much. I know I'm wearing just like a robe of resistance, which could be replaced with something better. Um, that's definitely decent for the whole cold resistant office, though. I guess it's got mystic blast, conjurable lighting, and searing rain. This book of what is it, the octave of concussion. Are there any, like, specifically sound-based spells in this game? I feel like the seismic, uh... Whatever it's called one, seismic cannons or something, is vaguely a sound-based thing. Oh, it's plus three longbow. Alright. I don't think I'd go with a longbow with this character. I think this armless of Danks is probably better. Especially if I were to get insane, uh, invasion with this character. Um, any reason to do the Hall of Blades? Not really, but I can do it anyway, I think. Just because it's probably not too bad to do. I should do the rest of the level first, though. Not make the mistake that I make with the ghost faults of going in there and then getting ambushed from behind by all the creatures I didn't kill beforehand. That I totally could have. Uh... I like how those teleports are actually getting a decent stack. I think it said I had like 10 of them there. Oh, marked. Well, uh, hmm. Might have done a teleport at some stage, but I'll just let these guys build up a bit. Where's the emulation? It's not going to do much against the weapons, but it might blow up some of the other things. Alright, I think that actually just blew everything up at once. Didn't even have to pop a teleport. Hey, there we go. 70 evasion already. And I've still got a little bit more um, dodging to train up. Yeah, really not a lot left in here after that, Mike. There's a few stragglers that for whatever reason didn't decide to follow.
And that's like I want, so this must work plate, this must work off, and this jeweled leather armor. I'll try the jeweled leather armor, see if that's any good. Probably not, but it might be. It's plus three leather armor, two decks. I mean, I would... Mm, no, I'll say no, it's two decks. Even though two decks is kind of nice, because it'll leave me without cold resist. Oh, I can identify something. Hold on, if I need to drop... Mm, drop that dex ring, because there's no point in that one. There's something else here. Charm weapon, there it is. What can that potion be? It's almost like identifying it right now. Experience of resistance is probably resistance. Um, I don't think there's any massive hurry on identifying that. I can just identify it next time I... That's a lot of guys. My buzz of these up, but I'm also thinking of teleporting out of here at some stage. Um... <laughs> Two decks who can resist? Yeah, there's actually a decent amount of decks, maybe, but that's really not that much. Alright, what else have we got? Well, obviously, more of the tough elves. Because I just saw some of the stuff. Uh... Hey, okay, more decks, of course. Got 75 mage, wait, did I just gain 4 evasion by gaining 4 decks? I kind of got to that point where like each uh, dex is worth 1 evasion. That's a really good point to be at. <laughs> oh man, okay. It also brings my damage up to 75, which is nothing special with the damage. It's decent, but nothing special. Uh, I should probably, no, I should probably back up actually, there's too many master archers, they're gonna absolutely pelt me if I say put. There we go, in a corridor it should be fine, because then the master archers will just have to chew me one at a time instead of all pelting at once, that seemed to work just fine. Not just one dex, but two, I think it was like the whole two evasion that we give or something. The ring of fire is just flight, hmm, doesn't seem that good. Steam Dragon Armor of Willpowers plus 7. That's actually raised to be defensive. Um, I doubt I'm going to need that one, but... I don't know. It's there if I do. I'll look at how defensive it is. That's not it. <laughs> Wait, where'd it go? Uh, oh, capital E. So it give me... Oh, 8 more AC. I can't really, because I don't really have a thing of cold resist. But if I get a cold resist from another source, then I guess I can go get the 8 AC from that. Alright, I've got more Shandam, which I don't actually need. Um, oh, I don't want to be malmutated. What can I do here? Do I, I feel like a wand or something, right? I could do... Uh, Lightning Rod? That's not what I want to see. I think I can kill this guy with a lightning rod, though. There we go. And it didn't manage to malmutate me any further, thankfully. Well, those aren't malmutations. Those are positive ones. Mainly. What is the enemy to head chance? I should look at that as soon as I... Okay, I'll look at that on the next enemy. Oh, the robe of vines, man. It's a fear of battle I don't need. Uh, might just turn this acquirement into some money or something. I don't feel like it does much else for me. I don't think I should put on the robe of fines because I'd have no gold resist, but it's same old problem of having no gold resist if I don't wear the armor. Um, I think I might be done with this level so I can just go to the depths or something. I think that's the right place to be. Always been counted. I'll see what these uh these areas have for sale. Oh, did you look at that guy's chance to hit me? Oh well, it's uh, a bit late for that now. I can drop. Mm, guess I'll drop my rope of vines and I'll drop. I ever get a resist corrosion? I don't think so, unfortunately. Might no, I don't know. Oh, might. I don't need that one. 
Should identify that potion with resistance, right? Most likely. Drop the trash and let's go and see what we've got. You see what these guys... I mean, the basic cobalt has uh, about 3% chance to hit me. What about an actual spriggan? That was 5% chance to hit me. So some of these guys have got a bit of a chance to hit. Okay, get cancellation. Mutation. Alright. Ah, it's just an obelisk. There's... Boots? What are my boots? I got plus two boots. I gotta try these. They might get flight or something. Rampaging. Eh, whatever. I'm not really that sort of character. So cloak, but I got the cloak of fire resist. Alright, well, apparently I'm done. Let's get out of here. Try real enemy. This guy's chance to hit me is 7%. What's my chance of hitting it? 50%. Almost 45%. This guy's chance of hitting me is 6%. So that kind of gives you an idea of where the enemies are, I guess. A lot of them are less than 10%. This is 5%. Yeah, pretty, pretty good. What's an enemy that's particularly accurate? I'm trying to think if there is something. And that was 6%. That's about the same as everything else, I think. I, I kind of want to blow these guys up. I go through my emulations, but I'm sure that's fine. Uh, I don't know if I had any more of those for sale. They probably be on my shopping list if they were for sale. Or I probably would have just instantly bought them if I saw them for sale because, I mean... What else am I gonna do with my money right apart from buying consumables? I can look up Orbs of Fire? They... I don't think it lists their chance of heading, does it? Um, that's not even how you spell over fire. I'm pretty sure none, though. Like, the fireball doesn't list as chance, does it? The fireball doesn't list. I mean, the fireball always hurts. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think that says anything. I don't know if anything is a higher HD. I mean, some of the pandemonium lords are not are close. Like, uh, what would their name be? I mean, I can check Tiamat because I can remember their name. Tiamat has a 10% chance to hit me. Um, that's another... I mean, I can look at, like, Serebov or something. Serebov would have a 16% chance to hit me. they got to be out there, I think, with the head dice. I don't happen to have like a death talisman or something. I think I checked that before. Still don't have one. I really want one. Both for potentially removing this weapon, which I might not do. Oh, 78 evasion. Well, that was going worthwhile. Let's just get the let's just get the range max out though, I think. Get myself a title from that, and then I can just get some more fighting or dodging or whatever. Um Oh, you forgot about the no melee on the orbs of fire? Yeah, because I... I mean, it's actually kind of a funny thing. Apparently, if you bribe some orbs of fire, and then they go to find other orbs of fire, because they don't have any, like, useful attacks, they just go and stand there looking at each other. It's really funny. <laughs> um, Because, I mean, now their fire attacks do it or something. Their mob mutators, they doesn't do it or because they're immune to that one as well. So, yeah, they just look at each other. <laughs> Okay, didn't manage to get me with this mob mutate for that tiny period of time that there was a guy in there that could. Mm. Oh, Dreadlich has 12% chance of heading, but I feel like the main thing is like something nasty, something paralyzing. This ghost has a 12% chance of head. Uh, Isis ghost. I kind of want to release these guys. Alright, this is looking pretty good. And they had some boots or something that could be worth using, I think. Oh, you can frenzy them with the Orb of Wrath, which is hilarious. Right, then they probably go to look at each other as well, right? The frenzy up one. Plus two boots and plus two slag. I mean, it's, it's two free slag, I guess. Brings me up to 
79 damage. I really don't need that rampaging. All right, what's this? Uh, resist logic, resist poison, resist fire, and a bit of magic poison, resist negative. So it's almost a replacement for that Ambler, not quite. But I don't think I've got any Ambler to give a ton of dags or anything, so... Really not that worthwhile, because I've kind of got everything on it already. Alright, mm, let's go downstairs. Another bizarre, I got one of like, the level above. Um, I gotta listen out for it, but I'll probably end up magic mapping anyway. But it might say it's like right next door or something like that, but I was not talking about it. Alright. Nah, it's very distant. Alright. Does I kind of... Oh, hey, the Pajit. I kind of lowered the whole um, magic mapping thing. Where? Is it all the way over here? <laughs> I know, I was like right next to it and I didn't notice it was there. Oh, that's kind of funny. Anyway, let's drop. Mm, that's silly ring can stay outside, I guess. I know it does a lot of things, but none of them are quite what I need. Alright, any jewelry doesn't give... None of the stuff is giving me decks. I need like the one of a kind rings to give a ton of decks. The room of... Oh, decks regen. Um... Hmm. Tempting, but no cold resist. Which means I'm probably actually... Hmm. But I can swap it a cold resist ring, right? I lose like one dex to get a regen. I mean, it might be alright. I might, uh, my grab it is slightly less protective. I don't know, it's, um, it's a thought. I could get a regen out of it. Got a, oh, it's a minus six ring. That's not gonna help. The storm talisman, that's not the right one. Uh, cloak of regen, but minus willpower. What was my cloak? My cloak was pretty good. It was like all my fire resist or something. Unfortunately, those things are not quite what I'm looking for, I don't think. No. Oh, well. Uh, hold up. Was there a scroll of vulnerability there? And a scroll of silence? I mean, I guess I can grab those ones. Those might be alright. Not sure if that short of silence yet, but it's still something. Right, Pajit. Um, I haven't found a mirror, right? Yeah, then both me and my mirror can uh, do some damage and that should hopefully get through his regen. Yeah, no problem's good. So I don't think I was doing quite enough damage to really get through his regen all on my own. It's fine if this juggernaut gets up to me. What's the bad thing you could do about that guy having distortion? I mean, they're gonna get into a choke point, but it's not gonna really gonna help with the distortion, I don't think. Um. No. And it does mean I can kill them one at a time, which is nice. Alright, what's the elephant? I just see an elephant, right? Does it die? I thought it just like ran away, like blinked away or something. I feel like it could be entirely wrong. Oh, it might be that. Sh no, it can't be a shape shift. I don't think they've turned into elephants. It's, oh, it's right there again. Uh, stop it it's trying to sneak up behind me. Oh. That's not working the best of them. Is there, can I do some roots or something? I don't think I got the roots. I got a water warping instead. I might, might drop a condenser vein on these guys. That kind of almost works as roots. Oh. Actually, I might just teleport out. <laughs> on second thoughts. I mean, I can't kill those guys just like not all at once. That would be nice. There we go, that's better.
Uh, Scaraday Chris, I'll... I want to get rid of that Christmas fear book, but I might just run around this corner because uh, I had to find the other guy first because it's out the front. Arrhenius Notchus Bog and Summon Hydra. Alright. I don't even carry around my potions, I guess, because I've just never taken them off board to pick up. I feel like the like the changes with the way that the repulsion works was quite enough to spring an air elementalist. Because I can actually hit them with my bow now. Like they used to be pretty much impossible to hit with a bow. Like I remember saying, I don't know, like five percent chances and stuff. Um or maybe slightly more, but I remember it being pretty dire. Whereas now it's just kind of alright. Like fifty percent chances and stuff. Alright, one more level of depth, I guess. Uh, that's what that's sitting around and like hitting me with an airstrike, I think. It's doing something that's doing damage to me anyway. I would think it was probably an airstrike because that ignores my evasion. All 78 of it. What's the highest evasion I've ever won with? I know it was kind of ridiculous. Um, uh, let's see if I can figure it out. Oh, 90 evasion on a demigod hunter. Of course it was one of these demigods. Yeah, not sure this character is quite going to meet that evasion. Maybe. Um. Because hmm. just by leveling up, I can get a little bit more evasion. I don't know. I feel like the character that 90 evasion has some pretty good items to help me buff it up. But I think the way of like getting the most evasion in this game is like with an octopode. Oh, it stripped off my. I've still got clarity, but it stripped off my robust. Man, I like that mutation. Oh well. Yeah, because the people have like an octopode with like eight dex rings or something, and then they get really ridiculous dex, and then they go like Chabriados, and that's how they uh, get max health evasion. At least I think that's how people get max health evasion in this game. Alright, well, why do I want to go? I could do slime pads. I don't have this road, but I can get some, I think. I might do, I might do Vaults 5. You know, mm, still no Death Tallies, but I'm really disappointed about that one. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll start to go down to Vaults 5. Should be fine. Uh, do I want to put on some willpower? No, it's probably fine. I got three willpower. Well, pets of willpower. Uh, just a basic wizardry. I mean, there are good rigs. Like, if I got a rig of ice and something else good on it, I'd actually use it. I'd swap around my robe um, for the regen one, I think, but nothing. So far, it's been good with ice resist. I wonder what any of these guys will have hand cannons, because I don't think I've seen one of those so far. Those could be kind of nice, but... Oh. It's fine if I don't find one. This, uh, Arbalus and Dex is perfectly good. Uh... I can't really blow these guys up with some fire. I was definitely thinking about it, but I might just dump a Condensivate on them. There we go, that's definitely adding up quite fast for the damage. Yeah, it made a big difference. So a longbow also, I don't think it was an artifact one, no, it was just a basic old one. If I found like a, I don't know, a Zephyr or something, it might be worth using, but... Hmm, a basic longbow is definitely not going to be. 
Hey, look at that. A death talisman. I can't carry it, but I do want it. So I can, um... Oh, I might drop that willpower. Might have stopped the rage for a little while. And I might get the, um, not that. Zero. There we go. Might get the shape shifting up to 23, I think. I'm going to actually try and get this death talisman going, I think. And I can lock in whatever mutations I've got. Unfortunately, I lost the um, robust one already. But there's actually no real... Oh, ow. Okay, that's fine. No real problems with having this antenna because I've actually got a hat of decks. I don't think I've seen any helmets of, like, decks or real thing. I can, I can check what helmets I've had. Uh, how does see invisible? Yeah, nothing really. Oh, the ring of cold resist. Drains you to take it off. Flight and resist electric. Yeah, that's whatever. <laughs> might just leave that one. I mean, it's okay. I might wear it in like Tartarus or something, but I don't think it's got much use outside of Tartarus. Alright. So, willpower, AC, minus two strength ring. That's not too bad. I guess I can swap. Mm, actually, I already dropped my old uh, willpower one by the looks of things. As soon as I get that death times, but online, I don't think I'll need the willpower anymore. Oh, it's that helmet. Dex, but minus cast. It's not like I cast that much anyway. And yeah, cold resist. Mm. I don't know, losing the antenna would be alright. I could put that one on, but I don't know. Minus, uh, it's still alright even with the minus cast. What how many of you would need a basic quick blade at this point in the game? But there might be some people. You might be able to do that with like a coglin if you're a quick blade coglin. Uh Candles. Oh no, what did I do? I got myself mic just fine. I that was exactly not what I meant to do. I was trying to examine um whether I had a clear shot, but I obviously stuffed that up. Probably gonna have to teleport soon. You know, I might start it now, but unfortunately the mic will still be on. Alright, mic's gone, good. If these guys all keep it coming from the same direction, that would be excellent, because this is kind of challenging them into a nice little choke point for me. I have a feeling the shiny guy is not real, but I didn't bring the polymorph, so I can't just polymorph it, unfortunately. <laughs> Alright, well, I think I'm done. Um, anything good on the growl? Does it identify? Did I have something to identify that I just had, had done or something? Tons of job weapons which don't matter. Orc bow. It's got three days now. It's not that good. Cold resist fly one, but unfortunately with draining, we take it off. I don't think any of that stuff's that good. I don't think I actually saw any hand cannons this time round, which is kind of crazy. Anyway, let's, um... Not quite there with the shape tuning. I might go to Zot. I'm hoping I can kind of get there with the shape tuning, and then I can go to the slime pits and not have to worry about mutations. That would be nice. Uh, what's my aptitude? It's minus two, so I might not get to 23 by the end of Zot. Um... I don't want this guy slowing me. Um... Hold up. I gotta pop some fog, because otherwise this guy here is gonna get me with some poison. And slow me down and stuff. Whereas if there's fog clouds already out, it can't put out the poison clouds. There's no space for them, which is excellent. I love that trick of like bring out clouds to stop enemies, bring out clouds. It feels kind of, I don't know, kind of funny, but it makes sense in a way, I guess.
And a golden dragon. If I wanted gold dragon armor, I've got the gold dragon armor of Pajit anyway, so it's not like I need that. Um, let's throw region. Oh, minus three decks. That's definitely the wrong way. Should be plus decks, not minus decks. Health much progress, 9.3. Alright, that's something. I guess I can go through the crypt as well, can't I, to try and get XP. Um, this is fine. I'm gonna stay where I am. And that, yeah, maybe going through the crypt I'll be able to get 23. Ooh, I'm just gonna head back to... Should be... Oh, because I got so much invasion, the quicks of a dragon can't even hit me. Right, so it can't cancel up my alarm. Hmm. It's always kind of funny with those guys. Uh, oh, my, again. With the quick throw dragons, like, cancel up a uh, alarm or slow or something that you've got on you. They kind of be your friend, but uh, no, I don't think that's going to be happen much for this character, if at all. Hey, Grum. My whoop is not quite optimal, so... Might have drink some. Let's see. 22% chance of dooming me. 4% chance of dooming me. Well, that's definitely an improvement, right? What are the rest of his hounds? He's come along before we willpower cut wears off. Oh, well, I guess, uh, either he only had one hound, which I doubt, or I'm gonna find some more later on. That's oh, so not death ties, but basic again? Yeah, basic again. I've already, like, ever once, I think, found an artifact one. Um, actually. I will do the whole willpower thing. Give it Jake, Jake on that shape turning, but of course it's not going to be making that fast of progress. Uh, oh, and identify. I actually did need to read one of those on this thing. There we go. There's resistance as expected. Unfortunately, not the right character for Frostbite. Frostbite's fun. I, I had the other Formus once, and it was really excellent. Because there's a two handed uh, execution axe. And I mean, two handed weapons have the, the problem that you can't use the shield with them. But then Formus can with, use a shield with two handed weapons, so it was an excellent weapon on a Formus. Um, huh. oh, got me in the clouds. Oh, there's much I can do about that. It did slow me somehow. Ah, uh, I gotta start telling, but I know it takes a long time to go off, but I think it's probably a good idea. Um,. Okay, this guy's fast and I'm slow, which is a bit of a problem. Um, I might mirror it up. Oh, ow. But I drink a healing potion, so I'm gonna have to maybe cancel the slow, I'm not sure. I'm hoping this mirror, like, uh, holds this guy back for a while. No, uh, that doesn't take me very far. I hope that's fine, though. Right. So far, okay. Uh, huh. I don't have my twice of spiders on this guy. Didn't manage to whip it up, unfortunately. That would have been nice, but oh well. House is still sitting just under 90, which is fine. I don't think these guys can do that much damage in one hit. Um, still fine. I got to throw ice scores. At least I got some resistance to that. Otherwise, I would be in trouble. Oh, I probably should do a healing potion. Get myself back up to like 90 health.
All right, well, that was uh, a little bit scary with the whole, like, death rakes being brought in. Those are uh, always really terrifying. If I had got my fog screw out in time, though, I probably would have been fine, but I didn't. All right, more decks, I guess? Of course, it's more decks. So I got 69 decks, which brings me on to 82 evasion. That is, in fact, what I like to see. Uh, can't really put on the death uh, tallies, but yeah, I'll just drink a lignification. Does tag my evasion, so I'm hoping not too much comes along, but it's a death toe, I'm still fine. Lots of mods of Wrath, but as long as they're not next to creatures, they can't really do a lot. Actually, if they do send me Berserk, which I don't think they can because I got Clarity, then that would be really nasty because then I couldn't do range attacks. But the both of me having Clarity, I think they're kind of not too bad. They can only Berserk up the enemies. Of course, they've got to be careful. I don't want to get them next to, I don't know, a Unique or something like VV. Uh... Start with the Fog. Back up a little bit. Um, what's well, the wrong one? It's fine. I think you can still just shoot this one anyway. Ooh. Okay. Let's go upstairs and then kill this guy. Um, again, I'm going to have to read the fog, I think, to stop myself getting horribly poisoned up. Man, the problem there is there was a death code that would like to torment me. I'll bring it upstairs and then I'll lignify just so nothing else comes along while I'm fighting it. Those clouds of poison are probably to my advantage, rather than detriment. They definitely will stop the um, storm caller bringing out well the death rays for other storm callers. I don't know why I'm taking that shape to again, but it's on 13, so it's like, what, halfway there or something? They're not really, because the first points are cheaper, I think. <laughs> Quite a bit cheaper. Yeah. Alright, um, I'm not actually going to be able to get enough XP and Zot. Yeah, definitely not. Alright. I will magic map. Oh, it's my last magic mapping. No, actually. I don't think I'll pop it in here, but, hmm. I do like to magic map out Zod 5. I just don't think I'm really going to get a choice this time around. Alright. I won't do the whole of Zod 5. I'm just going to do like the bit outside of the lung chambers. Okay. Is that the way in? Alright. Because I don't want to risk orbs of fire, like, messing with my mutations and stuff, because they totally will if I let them. Um, and they're almost on the ass over there, right? So I guess it's time for the corrupt. I have 14 or something on the shape-shifting. That's going to be an annoying entrance, because I can't actually target the um, Flag Ghost. And half of these guys won't follow upstairs, so... <laughs> But I guess I bring what I can upstairs. Um, I'll slowly reduce the numbers. There we go. Got the flame ghost upstairs. That's going to make my life a lot easier. Now I can probably just stand down here and shoot everyone. I do have two versus negative in here, so I should get my uh, draining building up or anything because I got that on my cloak. Why am I still want to pick up a berserk potion? That was never been useful. Alright, how's the... Uh, Wolfhound's doing fine. Oh, yeah. So I kind of the resist corrosion that I'm lacking, and I don't know if there's a good way of getting that. Um, uh, there we go. Got the curse skill next to me. I don't think I'll leg the fight, but maybe I should. I 
I gotta look at the form, but it's getting to the point where I would be completely losing my health. I'd be on 22% health. Mm, yeah, really not a lot to want to have uh, 40 health or something if I put on the death dice, but that would be an absolutely terrible idea. There'd probably be quite a few things that could one hit me with that one on. Uh, no, we don't need the ring of ice, despite my lack of cold resist. At least the death talisman is going to give me one more. Actually, these potions aren't that important if I'm going to be putting on death talisman. I, I used a few early on, like, used a ton of haste potions early on, but I haven't used it, I think, in a while. Because I kind of, the character's kind of got going now. That's what demigods do. They start off nothing special. I might just back up a bit. Do you have a vial of floods, right? Oh, come on, Zanata. I want her not to summon it or things instantly. There we go. Now I can follow Flutter. Just don't get hit. Yeah, but uh, there's this character's way. I mean, this character kind of doesn't get hit. Um, probably like fireballs, of course. Um, I guess the flag and torment are getting me as well. That's going to be a problem maybe later on. It's going to be like the damnation because you can't dodge that. Going through hell, but at least I should be able to get the immunity to torment. Or like with the 40 hit points, just don't get hit. I mean... <laughs> I wonder what it would be up to by now. Probably not much more than that. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm, okay. That's better. Hey, there we go. Go with another curse girl. No, this was definitely a worry. Um, so my crib seems to be very full to curse girls this time round. Whoa! Oh, it's another flag ghost. 110 flang. That's a lot. I might start a teleport. 50 something health. Oh, I might drink a healing potion. Okay. There we go. Yeah, that's a, that's a ton of flag. Oh, do you usually do, uh, Zop first thing crypt? Um, yeah, I often just do crypt before extended to get myself a bit of XP, so yeah, I often do. In fact, a lot of games I don't even do crypt unless I'm like with a god that helps a lot, like the Shining One. In fact, if I'm going to switch to the Shining One, then I'd, um, often do the Crypt. Uh, like, just before extended to get XP and stuff. I don't like how there's a Flag Ghost here as well, but I think that's fine. And, uh, the Crypt is great for getting piety on any of the good gods, because there's so many evil creatures in here that will give you a ton of piety. Alright. Hey, it's good old guy or gimbal. I had a carriage with that one, it was really fun. Oh, I've already got two blinking? I haven't even used blinking in this game, and I've already got two? I mean, I guess it's just one of those games where the game doesn't give you blinking. Uh, it's all 36% health, that really isn't that much. Okay. Gonna try the healer god like a Levelin. Yeah, I heard you could do the with Demon Spawn now, but I'm not actually, I've never actually tried that. Kind of curious to try a Demon Spawn of a Levelin. Um, I don't even know if that's true, but I heard you could do the one uh, Demon Spawn. I saw the teleport, but this is currently fine. It's just this mummy. Oh. Well, that just puts me towards more of these mummies. Um. Right. Uh. Oh. Oh, good old cast, so okay. Might start the fog and then do a little bit of teleport and try to get somewhere with this nod guys that torment me. Um, man, it's kind of rough with these teleports. Oh, that might work. You go upstairs. Oh, I don't think that guy can follow me upstairs because there's no room.
All right, that's kind of an ideal staircase for stair dancing. Not like needed to stair dance those guys. Can I just, uh... No, I'm not sure if avoiding that area makes sense. I mean, it kind of does. Yeah, body ragged with pain again. Um... I feel like there's been a few buffs to Crypt. Uh, you saw, there was always Curse Girls, which are one of the scariest things in here still, but there's now a lot more things like the Curse Toes and stuff that do the whole torment. Oh, the Willpower Dex? Resist Corrosion? Ooh. I mean, it's minus four red, but like, when I need to resist Corrosion, that's the ring to go with. Um, in fact, that might almost be the ring to wear right now. I might give it a try. I lose one evasion. I mean, it gives me a resist corrosion. I guess it's probably the right thing to have on. That's really not that much of an expense, though, to get the resist corrosion. Alright. Oh, 18. I need five more skills. I'd be at 50% health if I put on the form. Uh, the glitch form. Not gonna work. Definitely can't go into the tomb without a face. This character's probably gonna have a reasonably hard time in the tomb. Did I ever get some immolation again? I got three. I know the immolation can be quite a lot of fun in the tomb. It can do something. Alright, where do I have to go? Where do I have to go? I've got the slime bits, but like... Hmm. I might just do a little bit of pandemonium, I guess. Um... Maybe. Okay, I can drop the willpower AC ring. Um, probably actually drop the enchant armor outside of here as well. Unless I'm yeah, because I didn't get hand cannons, so I can't go the whole shields route. It takes away cold resist, but gives dex. It's not actually terrible. Uh, hmm. Yeah, these are not that useful. Probably the stars are that useful. The brilliant assembly is that useful. Probably something else I could drop as well. Tragic, I think. Yeah. Alright, well, I've got to go into pandemonium. Um, I might be better off going to like the entrance in hell and trying to clear that one, actually. That one could be worth a decent amount of XP. Oh, hey, Manus. Let me just deal with this guy first. So, Manus is a tower shield of cold resist, which is fine. Anything I want to particularly do to him? Um. Might. Uh. Might mirror him up, but uh, to get a small chance of be getting silenced, yeah, because this mirror can do it as well. It does make it a bit easier to kill, though. I might take that shield. If I ever do get a hand cannon, I can go hand cannon shield. Alright, well, haste point is worth getting at the moment. But if I need to, if I need to find nothing tough, I can put on a haste potion. Because I'm going to be using a lot less of those when I get the, um, the form going. <laughs> Let me just back up there. These are my boots of some slang or something, but if I get boots of flight, they might be worthwhile. Alright, don't need the storm talisman. Don't even need to stay on this level of pandemonium either. I probably don't need to scroll of uh, vulnerability. I haven't really been using those anymore. So there's a fiery rune on this level. I feel like fire resistance was something I had at least. This does usually eat a few scrolls of teleport during this one, which I'm down to eight of those, which is a bit of a shame. Well, nine now. Because you often have to like teleport out and then do some more damage and then teleport out. Um, I'm gonna risk it to put on the robe of regen because regen's. Oh, did that lose me a fire resist? Oh. Mm, I still think I've got to have some sort of regen in this fight, unfortunately. Because otherwise, it's. doesn't quite work. Because you teleport out, by the time you get back, you want to be regen with your health. Um. 
Having one less fire resist is not great. I might be able to drink potion of resistance or something. Oh, this one of the ones where the pandemonium log gets trapped by the lava? Hey, I think it is. Alright. No. Oh. Me even more stuff behind me. <laughs> I don't know where that brimstone feed went, but I'm sure it's hanging around somewhere. All right, just waiting for the all the fire, all the fire so we need to be dropped on my head. Is that actually summoned? No, it's real. Oof. I saw the teleport. Um, I can't actually shoot it back. I might drink a healing potion just to get myself a little bit of health. Okay. Sure. Yeah, I really struggle with these brimstone fiends, don't I? It's not a surprise, but I can't put on the talisman yet because I'm only 19 on my shapeshifting skill. So I have 60% health, which is not going to be enough. All right, I'm going to pop a resistance potion, but I don't have many of those. Oh, where's the... Uh, Sarah buff guy? Uh, it's really going full in on the fire storms yet. Um, hey, I guess I just can try and get some health back, but... Okay. I I mean it's probably better than trying to summon uh demons to be honest. Um Yeah, like that's gonna be not the best of it. let's say it's um it's just normal speech, but still. Woo. Might actually start a teleport. Um and a fog as well. All right. This has not been easy. Um, I mean, I guess I shouldn't expect a pandemonium law to be easy or anything, but. All right, let's make my way back into here. Summons should be gone by now. Unfortunately, I can't, like, yards up summons, which is always a nice thing to be able to do. Get my health back. He is wounded. Um... Now, oh, where'd he go? These old dudes with him, uh, they can't get away from him, can they? Oh, these ones can, though. Please tell me I don't have to teleport out again. Oh, I might do. Um, I think I probably do. Well, I got, like, the like the perfect layout for fighting Sarah Bolt this time around. I'm still kind of struggling with it. All right, so let's go, let's go back. Around here. Oh no. He got out. Okay. Uh, definitely drink a haste potion. Because he hastes himself up as well. So I can blink back a little. Hey, got him. There we go. And now I can go um, take his rude. One rude down. Many more to go, but I'll check out the treasure that he's got around the edge. See if any of this stuff is good. Gloves of hurling. I mean, I don't actually do any throwing, do I? Oh, a blink scroll. Nice. I do need one of those because I'm really short of those blink scrolls this time round. That's just a low anti magic sling. Alright, what else have we got? Um, the minus willpower. See if it's this boy's ring. That's not even that good. Hey, another blinking. Okay, so I got two blinking out of this. Sure, I might have spent like a bunch of um, 
Teleport scrolls. But at least they got the blinking in exchange, which is not a bad exchange at all. Um, how many coal resists? CM is all I might pick it up. I can't actually use it right now. Um, hmm. Ah, right, evasion. Regen, slaying, resist, corrosion. No, randomly corroded. I don't think that makes sense. Dex ring doesn't make sense. I got more. I got multiple of those already. Uh, Alright, well, I think I'm done with this level, right? Or is there... No, there's one more little treasure room on this side. Alright, now I'm done with here, so I can just find the closest way off the level. So I was wearing the region. I should go back to my resistance, I think. Oh, that doesn't look right. There's a nothing level, I can just go to the next one. That might have something better. It's a demonic rune. Alright. That's just been guarded by the random pandemonium lords. They're usually not too bad. But sometimes their random spell slots can definitely be bad. That means I shouldn't take my first way off this level here. I should definitely keep on exploring. Uh, like 3.1 skill short of being able to put on my... Oh, uh, my lich fob. I don't know. It's probably still not quite worth doing. Oh, body twisty fobs. Come on. I've not really lost me like one armor class, but... Still. Just a shame, because I'm getting close to being a lock of these mutations, but... I don't know. It might not happen. I might be having to reset them before I ever get to lock them in. I feel like there's a thing about pandemonium, it always appears like a little bit earlier than when you can actually um, get the talisman going, the death talisman. I mean, that's not true if you're like with uh, Ash and Zari or something. The lightning ball's fine, but light gateway's pretty fine. Blinking allies is whatever. Because there's a ton of these ice guys in here, but that should be a problem. And it was like a whole row of the statues, which is kind of funny. Alright, five runes. So, I've done the slide, but yeah, that's right. I um, kind of left it onto a bit later because I was going to try and save my mutations, I think. Alright, next level, no runes, that's alright. In fact, if I pop open this door, I should get the Pandemonium Lord, and then I should be able to get the way to the next level. I might do it. Mm, yeah, it's got Harpoon Shop, but the main problem is it's got guys with it, um, and they've all noticed me. I might actually start a teleport. Yeah, this didn't work quite as well as i like, because there's a tall ice feed in here. Yeah, severely wounded, but yeah, with a torment for that one. Life could be a problem. Um, well, how much health do I have if I put this on? 180. Is that fine? I, mean, I get another cold resist out of it. I might give it a try, but it does seem a little bit sketchy. Definitely helps against this guy. 182. All right. Hundred eighty four. I mean, it's uh, definitely slowly ticking up there on me. Uh, I just pop out of here. There was somewhere I wanted to go, so I'm gonna gonna end those tallies, but again, and I'm gonna go to um, the entrance to hell. I think. Oh, hey, Gurion. Um. That's mildly awkward, because he doesn't want to follow out of here. He just wants to uh, summon the demons around me. <laughs> oh, ow. It's Mario the Cursed Skull. Um, uh-huh. I will put a back on this mob.
So he has uh, this whole uh, summon undead black mark. What does that do? It powers the cards from nearby allies. Okay, right. Um, let's just add this uh, form again. Try and get some health back. Okay. Do you have to blink, but it's not like the ideal spot for like blinking away. Oh, there's another guy there with the whole ball mutate thing. Going for it. Um, go okay, took that one out first, of course. Uh, I mean, there's still things around here they can follow, um, but I do see some simulacrums and stuff that I need to get rid of. Ah, yeah, no, those guys can follow. Um, hmm. Might just go upstairs and let all these summons disappear, because they're definitely pushing me off that staircase, which is not the best. I think even with, like, Guri getting up quite close, it's going to be kind of hard to get rid of them. Um, oh, I feel frail, yeah, it's, it's going to require a mutation reset. I didn't think that it would be the entrance to hell that gave me the frail. Because this one's usually not too bad with the mutations, but, uh... Clearly not good enough. Um, what do I actually do with all these guys? I might just dump uh, some clouds out. Oh. Actually, they're beginning to add up a little bit with their damage. Man, I'm actually repositioning myself on this level, I think. Because <laughs> there's no way I'm going to, like, uh, be able to escape off that level with that many of those guys around, like, uh, get up the staircase. Because they're just going to be pushing me around all over the place. So, yeah, just, um, teleporting away seems sensible. But I'm getting low on the teleport, so I'm more bit worried about that. I most feel like I should do the hells before Pandemonium or something, because they tend to require less teleports. Uh... What do I have to take out that Tormentor? Uh, I've got... Did I actually get any skill with the Evocator? Not a lot, unfortunately. I'll try and Lightning Rod and see if that does the trick. Oh, no, it doesn't. Uh, I might do another Teleport. Oh, 40 health. I've definitely got to do a Healing Potion. Oh, no, that made things worse. Oh, it's going to require one of my Blinking Scrolls, I think. Man. Because I had two guys next to me that could hit me with terrible stuff. Um, still in a bad spot. Okay. Bring in all these healing potions. Hey, there we go. Finally got out of there. You know what? Um, I might just put my lunch fob back on. I know I've got less max health, but it's a time that's causing me actual problems. So, like... Yeah, it's probably the probably the thing to do. I was I accidentally turned on the scale just by looking at this menu. I'm only like uh ninety percent now, that's not bad. Yeah, I'm almost there. Um so frail, armor fits poorly, clarity of mind and the ten A. Clarity of mind and the ten A are pretty good, but I still think I've gotta reset those, get rid of the frail. Alright, uh, let's try a reset here. So I've got 11 attempts of this reset. I am very resistant to heat. I lost my clarity of mind. I'm still frail. Let's try this again. I got back my clarity of mind. I regen, but I'm still frail. Okay. I'm robust. I regen. I got a couple of decks. That's that's good. Let's lock those ones in. A little bit of lich form here. Um Don't fly. Which hell do I want to do? Do I have Tartarus here? That's the Iron City of Deaths. Let's go to I think I might go do Tartarus. So oh. The main warrior in Tartarus is the guys that do the spell of dead, the sits metals, I think. I think there's a few other things in here that can be a bit of worry, but we'll see. Did I get the clarity of mind back? No, I lost that one. It. Um, I did get it back, and then I lost it pretty much straight away. 
Right. Can I actually get rid of this how, can I? Oh. Spells that's fine. Alright. There's the middle got rid of it though. Usually you have to worry about getting like uh put inside clouds of foul pestilence, but as a lich, I don't need to worry about that too much. Uh, dropped. Oh, three flaws. Nice, nice. Just temporarily lose a bit of dex, but I'm sure that's fine. I mean, my natural dex is like 70, which is definitely pretty decent. Alright, well, I know, uh, I might just explore some more of this level, but I do know the way down. Just trying to get us back as much max health as possible. Hey, there we go, last level. That was a quick trip down, though, uh, with the shafting and stuff. I get a... It did not get me with the whole... This thing is, we'll try to do good. Does the shape to things where it needs to be? I can either get, uh... Ranged. I should probably get some ranged. That doesn't need a limit, but I might get a little bit of fighting as well. Bring it up to like 24 or something. Because I wouldn't mind a bit more health. Although 160 health is... Uh, 260, I mean, 160 would be terrible. 260 health is not bad. You have to have a demigod. I think they actually do get a... Maybe a, I got the robust mutation. That's probably why it doesn't feel too bad. That doesn't look like the boss chambers. So the boss chambers would be this, uh, no, what is this? I don't know. Doesn't look like the boss chambers though, so I might just keep them moving. Because uh... usually the boss chambers are fairly distinctive on these levels. Alright, and you can like identify it pretty easily from the surroundings. But it might be right above me, I'll just keep on walking around this. Yeah, this looks like it. With the whole door in here. Oh, I got held. Um, he's not pulling too many to the middles. Everything else is fine, just not the. Oh, there's a to the middle. Not the to the middles, please. Alright, I should probably buff up, so if I take off my form and I put on a haste potion, and then if I put my form back on, and let's head on in. Pull air ski go back a bit, so that uh, the other Tzitzit's a middle cunt hit me at the same time. Right, she did give me the silence, and I got it. Excellent. Oh, he's wearing off. I should have tried to heal up, but no, that wasn't too bad. There we go. I can grab the runes. I got six runes now. Oh, I can do the slide puts, can't I? In fact, I, I probably should go do those around now. Yeah, the, now's actually probably a really good time because I can't be malmutated, so. Um, I did get the resist corrosion as well, which is nice. It's kind of a necessity when going through the slime pits. Alright, so I should have everything I need. Uh. And I've got uh, two coal resist or something now because of the, the whole lich form. Uh, I guess the damage is going up as I get more skill. I gotta look at how longbows would compare. I probably don't really want a longbow, but I don't know. We'll see. I mean, oh, longbow is one word, isn't it? Uh, wait, no, that's not right. Uh, <laughs> so if this was maximally enchanted, which I could get a maximally enchanted, what damage would that be doing? Because this looks quite good. It would be, um, 
six more damage. So, 81 damage. Oh, do you need to train Jameteam to use Talisman? Yeah, you do, Jeep, because, uh, so each Talisman has, a, like, a men's skill requirement. Otherwise, it drains your max health while you have it on. Um, quite a lot, actually. It's, like, 10% less max health for every one skill you're lacking. I feel like this does quite a bit more damage. 115. Hmm. Whereas right now I'm doing about 90 damage. Except that would actually be less because I'd lose dex if I swapped it. I don't know, I can kind of swap things for free now that I've got the Lich Farm going. Yeah, so the, the, like, if you look at this one, it tells you med skill is 21, max skill is 27, but you, um, the only bonus you get with the Lich Farm for trading it up up above 21 is I think the Siphon Essence becomes more powerful, but most of the other forms, like Satchel Form will get more AC as you get more than the minimum skill. Um, some of them will get more damage, I think, like, blade heads. I don't know, so it's often... I mean, it's usually worth getting them to the minimum skill, but often it's not worth getting them that much higher. That's what I personally found. Does it take a while to get that much? Um, yeah, definitely with the death talisman takes quite a bit, requiring 23 skill. Uh, some of the other ones aren't too bad. A sad form is what, like, uh, 16 skill? That's a little bit easier to get. Um, I kind of doubted to find another staircase. I mean, that was fine. It was just everything, everywhere, all around that staircase. <laughs> Alright, that's the last level, so... What's my plan with the Royal Jelly, anyway? Um... Probably, I'm probably not gonna know that I'm taking... Uh, oh, actually... This is the old school level, isn't it? This is, uh, this is a really good one, actually. Oh, I see the Royal Jelly. Um... Start the teleport, although... Oh, apparently I've downed, like, two of those. Um... Right. Okay. Oh, please, Lightning Rod. Take out the jelly. Uh, did it die? One of Royal's jelly's fragments survives. What does that mean? Does that mean... Oh, that means it spat out a guy, I think. That's normal. That's what it always does. Um... Yeah, it must be dead, right? Because this is letting me into the treasure vault here. Good. But I'm really worried about just being down to the one teleport. Um, that's not the consumable that I was expecting to uh, be running out of, but it is. Okay, come on, give me some teleport scrolls, game. I might be the do I? Oh, I don't have any on, the, on sale, do I? No, the minus teleport um, amulet. That's about it in terms of teleport on offer. All right, bloodlust. Bloodlust is like uh, six slaying and a bit of dags. It's actually all right for not dags, uh, willpower. That's usually alright, but um, I'm getting resist electric on see invisible off my amulet. Hmm. Some say I could maybe consider swapping that. Ooh, a fighting manual's good. I don't think the six slang makes sense unless I was using a faster weapon like a longbow or something. Right, so that's resist electric. That would let me swap an amulet, but I don't know. I haven't seen the best other amulets. Like, it's been amulets of region and stuff, but hmm. That's the main thing stopping me, not stopping me swapping is not that um, I don't have replacements for those resists. It's just that I don't really have a great amulet apart from that six slang, I guess. Oh, it's, a, it's an AC minus magic points let you blink. No, I don't think that's that good. Uh, cold resist invasion intelligence. Hmm. What have I got for cold resist? I got a basic one. I guess I can pick that up. No hand cannons, alright. Well, that's fine, let's, uh, let's just head back to hell, I guess. Is that hell that I want to go to? Maybe, hold up, let me go find that resist, uh... Where is it? I probably would have found it either, searching for ring, there it is. Fly and resist cold, I might go grab that. I know I lose some decks by putting it on, but I think it's worthwhile. 
Oh man, so much stuff. Uh, I could drop the tower shield. I could drop the. Um. Oh wait. I can wear the helmet now. I lose like three decks and I get a cold this. That's not actually what I need to do, is it? Because I need to gain the. Hold up. I might just swap the gloves. I know Holly doesn't do a lot for me, but um, it's basically free because I got so much enchant armor. All right. Uh, why do I want to swap out? Do I lose the willpower of this courage one? No, I might lose the other one. Let's see. Do it to six decks. Because I do want to be able to fly around. That's always really useful. Let's just put this on, right? And let's go to... Cosinus is not C. It's X, isn't it? It's a uh, corrupted C. Oh, final level. Of course I want to get Dex. I know my intelligence is a little low, but De Dex is the way to go. Replace the sum of that Dex I lost at least. Um... How's my max health going? It's a little bit down. I might just do the rest of this level. There's probably not that much left on it anyway. There we go. Got most of my health back. Uh, I might just... Dig. Not perfect, but like it's better than where I was before. Ooh, I'm still taking a bit of damage. I think this is fine though. What I gotta watch out for is like the shrikes, like the charge shrikes in the air, because I don't have a shield, which would definitely be nice if I could get a hand cannon shield. Um, like, sure, I lose a bit of dex, but my defense would be so much better, I think. And I've definitely got the, like, shields available, and I can charge them up and everything, so the only thing missing is kind of the hand cannon. Alright, next level, I guess. Uh, how's that text going? It's actually not going well. It's um, minus 8 from where it usually is. Okay, there are the shrikes. Um, I should probably get rid of this guy so I'm going to get attacked on one side. Yeah, like, all the inner corridor, all the shrikes are definitely a lot better. But they, they're so fast that they love to surround you and then bash you up with their shard device. And I think do a bit of melee damage or something, because they seem to still do quite a bit of damage with very cold resist. Alright, time to go down. I want to... Okay... Gotta try and burn some of the stuff, I think. Because I do still have, uh, actually I got a lot of fire resist right now. Ooh. Definitely try to shoot me, this one. Alright. Man, there's more of these guys. I think this is going fine, though. Problem is, if you get damaged, you can't, like, drink healing potions here. I might again. The only thing I'm missing is two dags, so... I mean, I guess I've doubled the level. That would be fine to just go down. Um... I don't like how there's no, like, uh, border to this level. Um... I'm actually gonna pop out up, even though it's gonna take lots of health effects. It's a bit of a shame. I don't know, well, hopefully that was the right choice. Let's see what the hell effects do, though. This could be bad. Oh, end four. Hmm. What level of, wait, what level of Cosinus was I on? I was quite deep, wasn't I? Cosinus six, right? Um. Ah, Drain's makes health. That was minus end. Hold up. 
I think I need my resistive corrosion in here, do I? Because I can swap out the minus. Okay, that's probably fine. Uh, oops, don't do all the little summon guys. Shoot the actual summoners. I think this is going all right. There we go. Cloud that out. Um, I don't think I've actually got a reason to swap those rings back. No, I guess I'll just go down. Ooh, poor Max Health. Hey, the does not want to exist again, but I guess I can swap it back now. Do I need to resist corrosion in here? I'm just not sure about that. That's fine. I don't actually need the intelligence. I probably can't. Oh, 9% fill in the blank. Yeah, it's not that great with that on, but that's not too much of a problem. Uh... Fighting's 24, good. But the rage is what I want to max out, because I want to get the, um... Merry Demi God title at some stage. Although I really hope it's Merry God, not Merry Demi God, but I got a what point seven of a skill to go before I find out. I definitely know it's not one that I've had, um, because I did check. What a tad does titles on a demigod. Alright, intelligence is back. Good. That is what I like to see. Uh oh. Were the elemental well springs having trouble following because there wasn't enough water for them? Probably. Although I thought they made like water where they traveled, so I thought they were quite good at um following into terrain. That wasn't their natural terrain. Alright, there we go. I'm a merry oh, this is a merry demigod instead of a merry god. It's hard to shame, but that's fine. I'll just get the dodging, and I guess I'll get the fighting. Those are probably the things to get. I might even get, like, a little bit of evocations. Um. I don't think I'm gonna try and get some, like, AoE spells on this character, but that's always an option trying to get something like Chatter or whatever. Uh, one of the single school ones, but I don't think I will. Not with my intelligence. Although I can't, of course, get more intelligence without too many downsides. I still don't think it's the best idea. Oh, I know what I need. I need a little bit of transmutations. I'll bring that up to, like, I don't know, eight. Make sure that blinking is perfectly reliable. I do have Dimensional Bullseye. You know what, I'll pick it up, but uh, oh, I should get the importation as well. But I'll probably not be able to really cast it properly. I might get the Power Driver. It can be useful for repositioning, but... Because I don't think it gets the minus move anymore. Uh, probably. <laughs> Hopefully. Anyway, where's the, where's the Dimensional Bullseye? 80% failure because it's Hexes as well. Um, speaking of Hexes, I should go grab the Yars, even if that's not castable yet and that can be added to my list of things to get castable yes i think i kind of got my skills planned out just get all those spells castable they should be good um can i the bosses on the other side of here <laughs> otherwise i would have seen that well we just see a rune if i had got the right side boss usually has ice fiends with them hey there's some ice fiends <laughs> It's actually not too bad. I don't think Ice Fiends can do much. It's not like the Brimstone was the whole damnation. If you're immune to their torment, you're just kind of immune. Um, I forgot the spiders. See if that works. Eh, not that well. Oh well. <laughs> so much for that blinking, I guess. Because Antaeus' melee is definitely a lot worse than their ranged attacks. 
Hey, there we go. That's what I like to see. A dead end tears. After eight runes. What was that we missing? I mean, it's three from Pandemonium. This is the Abyss, okay. Gehenna, I see of just Tomb of Ages. I should probably go back to, like, Pandemonium or something. Um, I guess. Yeah, probably. All right, well, um, can I actually swap my robe and get a little bit of more regen going? And then I can swap... Mmm... So I'll have that flyer of this cold one back out for, I guess, another Dex one. Will drain me a bit, but whatever. Right, so 93 evasion's pretty good. I'm not sure if I'll be able to keep that to the end of the game, but if I can, wow. Alright, there's my pandemonium entrance. Dark rune. I mean, these are just the five for that. This is the one with the guy that does the spell dead and summons a whole bunch of executioners. Uh, sounds fine to me. Am I still training? No, I'm... Oh, actually, I'm training a tiny bit more dodging. So I might be able to get, like, another one or two evasion out of that, but it's not going to be that much. Alright, well, it's very obvious where the boss chamber is. There's one... Only one spot big enough for the level, and it's right here. Curse Girls should be fine, because you'll get those in here as well. Um, yeah, that's a Curse Girl. I'd like to get up to it. There we go. Ooh. I guess I'll do more of the area around the outside here. How many... Um, i got three teleports, so I'm getting to build those up again, but I still think it's going to be when I do the tomb, I'm going to have to do the walls, but that's fine, i got Lich Form, the walls shouldn't be too bad. I don't want to end up, do I want to end up right next to the boss? Hmm. Hold up, i got to add my form, drink a haste, and dump my form back on, hopefully I can get into the boss fight, like, immediately. Yeah, that's pretty much immediately. There we go. Glorix block didn't even use his dispel on dead, which didn't help him out. So now I've got the glowing rune and the magical rune. Oh yeah. The magical rune's gonna require me to swap around to resist, but I think I can probably do it. Alright, please let me off the level. You always need to get ambushed by a whole bunch of guys just after you steal the rune. It always needs to happen. Alright, next level. Nah, nothing. Hey, but I'm up to 94 evasion, so that's something. This guy's got a very good chance of hitting me with that. Hey, glowing rune, alright. Um, let's check. Nope, oh, that's just the floor. So, uh, Manolek has a 9% chance of hitting me, that's fine. Uh, gotta back up. I know I'm gonna get fragile, but oh well. It's just kinda what happens. Okay. Uh, whew, I think I'm going to do a teleport, but I'm not sure if I'm doing quite enough damage here. That doesn't take me anywhere. The, I'm going to dig a, like an area in the wall, but like it's not going to last. Like it's, uh, yeah, these guys are just going to dig their own way in. How do I take out Manolek like, here? Yeah, maybe, maybe a lightning rod? Oh, probably resistant anyway. Um, I mean, it's still probably my best chance. I'm not sure. Maybe a, uh, oh, maybe an acid. Probably gonna have to start another teleport soon. That's better. That summoned and one of these uh one of these summoners was summoned by the other summoner like well, it makes them easy to get rid of. If I get rid of one, they're all gone. Um 
none of these guys dig. I might just... I'm sure this makes sense, but I might just pull these guys back. That's, that's the wrong guy. I just want to get rid of some of these guys that are starting to sneak up behind me. Alright. Keep an eye on like, my intelligence and stuff. Why is that actually higher? I guess it's all oh, because I put on the deck some um, intelligence ring. Makes sense. That would, um, does make sense to use. Where's the rune? It's gotta be... Oh, there's an XP potion. I might as well drink it. Although, to drink that would have to be outside of my lich form. And I do not want to be outside of my lich form on this level. Because there's so much stuff that mal mutates me. I kind of like my mutations. Uh, they're decent. Yeah, like, uh... Regen, Fire of Robust, Two Dags, Spin of Stealth. They're all actually, they're not more than just decent. They're actually good. <laughs> That's the nice thing with getting about the uh, getting the lich form reads me early. So you can often get some nice read uh not read so some nice uh, mutations to go with it because you have enough mutation potions left over that you can reset them into good ones before you lock them in with the form. Or sometimes if you get it like really late on after you've already gone through pandemonium and stuff, you're just trying to get any old not terrible mutations before you lock them in. Um, where's the way to the next level? Because I'm not wanting to go to Pandemonium just yet. I've got not Pandemonium, the Abyss just yet. I've got to get the Magical Rune first. Ah, there we go. There's the way to the next level. Oh, uh... The melee Pandemonium lot. Alright. Those ones are generally not too bad. I know sometimes they can be a problem, like they have huge evasion or something. You just can't hit them, but not too much of a problem this time around. So let's go to the next level. Come on, be a... What about after I'm learning the icy level, whatever it's called, the magical level? Hmm. Why don't you just pop a little bit of fog? Alright. Oh, right, there's a Kako demon. Um, I might emulate these guys. I know that not all of them will emulate very nicely, but at least some of them will. Uh, please tell me I don't need to teleport out or something. Actually, I kind of do, but I'm running low on the teleports. It's really worried about this guy having, like, damnation and stuff, but I think it's probably going to be reasonably tame with that one. Ooh, my health's all looking great. I think I could go another turn. Man. Um. Oh, that's terrible. I will start another teleport, but it's unfortunately be a lot, my last teleport. Alright. Let's get into the wall and rest up, but I did manage to rest up, but this that's not what's been kind of brutal with all the brimstone fiends that's throwing at me. Yeah, master dodging, sure. I mean that's nice, I guess. How many I've got no teleports so down to three blinking. I'm kind of worried if I'm gonna run out of um, resources with this character. I, mean, I guess I could do the fiery hell and not have to worry too much because that one doesn't require the resources because you can't, well I can't read the potions because I'm in lich form but I can't read the scrolls in there anyway. This one's a nothing level right so I can just next level. Hmm. Alright, so much stuff, stuff, and I did better just. Oh. 
Summon the Kaku Demon. Um. There is no teleporting out though, which is mildly awkward here. Who's summoning the Kaku Demon? This one is. Right. Uh, I, of course, have a trouble hitting that one. I guess I could do some, like, acid mods or something. Let's give it an acid mod to try. See if that can do the trick. Okay, I think that's got those under control. Yeah, definitely getting back to the corner by just more and more and more summoners there. That's for a nothing special level of pandemonium as well. And unfortunately, it's another nothing special level. Maybe we'll have some loot, but it's more likely to take loot than give loot, I think. That's how these levels tend to be sometimes. Don't need that gateway just yet. No, I've still got, the, still got that one... Elusive, uh, rude. I need a kite shield. I've still got the, like, cold resist tower shield to back up in case I ever do find a hand cannon, but I don't think it's likely anymore. I mean, it's possible, but definitely not likely anymore. Hey, there we go. That's the next level. Oh, nothing. I might just take the next level. Hey, there we go. We've got the, got the level that I'm after. So I need to swap into cold resist. Um, hmm, what's the best source of that? So the helmet's going to help. That's going to get me some cold resist. Um, be nice to get one more. Or I could just not worry. I wouldn't worry about it just yet, but it'd be nice to have one more. I might be able to use a potion. Because there's not going to be much chance to use those potions. So yeah, it's probably a good idea. Oh, there's a ring of three cold resist that it gives minus strength and it gives intelligence. Sure, it doesn't give any decks, unfortunately. Uh, I guess all these draconians, but I do have to take out this uh, subbing guy as well. I don't even think I need these potions of lignification, honestly. Don't think they'd offer much benefit. How close am I to the boss here? Very close. Alright, let's back up. Let's uh, back up a little bit more. That's probably about... No, I might stay around here. So I'll drink the taste. It's my last resistance, so hopefully I backed up to the right spot. There he is. Um, I don't even have a teleport, do I? Hey, that's all right. <laughs> I got the rune, but like, uh, yeah, I'm out of teleports. <sighs> Stop sparing the healing, please. No, don't spam the healing, because I really struggled to get back through that one. There we go. No, it was not an easy fight. He was like the uh, buff sword. Um. Anyway, if I had about the teleport, that would have just been a steal and get out of that situation. I gotta try and find a gateway to the abyss now because I haven't got the abyss rune yet, and that will get me out of pandemonium. Uh. Well, well not there. <laughs> Next level, I guess. Oh, also, um, I can probably put back on the dags, I guess. Yeah, I mean... Hmm. I have a massively like look of all the stuff that's coming along. 
As long as these summoners keep on dying, though, it's probably fine. Alright, there we go. <laughs> I could probably just head in here now. I maybe should have opened those doors. But it was very obviously a trap, right? Anyway, um... Manual of Shields, right. That already makes sense if I find a head cannon. I'll go check for one of those again. Just make sure I haven't missed it in one of the hells or something, but that doesn't look like this any. So I'm just kind of exploring this level till I find a way to either out of Pandemonium or to the Abyss. I mean, John Owens, I'm pretty sure I got a pile of like 10 of those sitting somewhere. In case I ever need to chant anything at all. Okay, master fighting, master rage, master dodging. Um. I get a bit more evocations. I might bring it up to like 20, get some of those evocation things going. Uh, no, I might only stop at 15 actually now that I think about it. And I'll get some. Some bell casting to like 10. Hexes to like 10. Transigate is like 10. What, did I do that correct? I don't think I said that target that correctly. See if that gets any of these spells going. Oh, I probably need to get the alchemy at some stage, but that can wait. I'll just get the other things first. Hey, there we go. That's my way off. Okay. Time to do the abyss. I don't think the abyss will be too bad. Um... Oh, wait, hold up. I need that way down. I just leave that one. There we go, level 2. I need to be on level 3 of the abyss before I start seeing runes, though. Because that's what I'm here for. I'm not just taking casual scroll the abyss. I think I've got a little bit of regen as well, which helps in here. Oh, that looks right. Uh, my strength returning. I don't know how that would go damage, but those things always need to get damaged by something. Anyway, this is the way down. Let's go down. Level 3. This is probably deep enough. I'm going to try and convert to Legato. I don't think it's going to work. Nope. <laughs> gateway leading out. I don't want to take that one just yet. I want to just keep on exploring. Oh, another gateway leading out. Well, I still want to keep on just exploring. not gonna go down. It's a banisher mode, definitely, definitely go to the abyss. It was more like a self banish than anything. Alright, I don't want to stand in that chaos too long, but that looked like got too much of a choice. I'm mute on half the chaos stuff. I didn't know the clarity though, so it can't be like paralyzed and that sort of thing. And really, nobody weighs out, okay? But no runes. I mean, usually I'd be really glad to see weighs out. Well, kind of, except I actually often go to the abyss because I set myself there to do an extended character. Okay, I just detected a rune. That's a good sign. I don't know if I can fly here, though. This potion of flight I've been off, this is maybe not the most useful thing. <laughs> um, I might have something of flight. I got the flight fire just, you know what? Makes sense to just stick that one on for a little while. Run across. And then I might switch back to the decks, I think. Uh, all the walls are getting eaten. That's probably fine. Got a gateway leading out, but I gotta grab the rune before I get out of here. Alright, now I can get out. That's perfect timing on that gateway, though. So I've got my 12 runes. It's time to... 
I guess it's time to head to the fiery hell now. I should have plenty of that because I've locked in the fire just anyway with my mutations. Um. Do I need to resist corrosion here? Can I get like one more dex or something? I don't know. It doesn't seem that worthwhile. I might just drop the cold resist evasion one. I don't know. The cold resist one isn't going to be so good in here. Alright, let's head on in. The problem is here is there's no scrolls. Oh, the reading with a ledge or a Boris or whatever that is. <laughs> His character kind of is like Boris, except I don't get extra lives. And I feel like playing as Boris would be the most uh, OP way of playing. I mean, I guess it's kind of almost like being Natasha. Oh, I hate this. At least it's level 2 of Gehenna, right? Um, it's probably going to require stair dancing. Ah... Uh. Okay. Hmm. That's fine. I think I can keep him backing up here. I know I'm getting a little bit of smite and stuff headed my way. Oh, what? Did I? Oh, what did I just shoot? That was not a digging, whatever that one was. Um, was that my Vile Floods? Hmm. Not ideal. Well, that was kind of a waste of a turn, but anyway, I'm into some cover, which means I can put my decks back on. Though half these guys are like fireballs anyway, so. <laughs> and smiting, so it's not really targeting my evasion that much. Uh. Alright. Should be fine now, like, uh, cleaning up the remaining guys, I imagine. Now that I'm no longer, like, right in the center there where they can all just ambush me, it should be fine. But that's always a really nasty level where it's like, hey, I have an ambush, but you can't blink and you can't teleport. <laughs> have fun. I'm going down. i have pretty much recovered from Halifax, and I've done the rest of the level anyway. Um... Can't get rid of the bike. The Yars is on the 93% failure, which is not too bad, I guess. Well, it's actually pretty bad, but it's like, shows it's making progress anyway. Because I guess this character's not wearing heavy armor, so like, it's gonna make some decently fast progress. Uh, that was, I might as well start the alchemy, I think. Get that up to like 10 as well. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Uh, I think the Brimson would be definitely more dangerous than a Helfen. Can a Helfen send you a damnation? Nope. A brimstone feed, sure can. Alright, that's the way down. Let's go down to level 5. I don't think they gave me a hell effect, because it doesn't always give you a hell effect when you go down. This often does. Um... So we've got two more levels to go. Sometimes you get the fiery servant of hell, which can be kind of nasty. Um, I'll see what I get, but that's on the last level of hell, I think, when you get that one. All right. How many digging ones I've got left? I've got nine of them left. That should be enough. Because I can't dig the Iron City of uh, some... I can't... Yeah, there we go. Last level here. So it's... I don't think I can even dig this level because it doesn't look like it's got diggable walls. Looks like it's just got fire around the outside.
How's my damage going anyway? 106 damage, which is a lot to be doing with Larvalus. I kind of wish this was better than just Larvalus, though. All right. I'm already really using it because it does so much dex, and that kind of helps. Um, I don't think I, I, don't think, I don't think I would swap around with like this. What I want to do is I want to get close to the boss. Oh, I'm gonna keep it shooting here. And then I want to put on some buffs, like haste, um, probably just haste. Sergeants don't have a whole lot of buffs available to them. Alright, there's the Summon of Hell. So that one loves to summon in some creatures. It does do abjuration. Um, I might try to zap it with just a little bit of acid. There we go, gonna corrode it up. That's something at least. There we go, that helped a lot, I think, because I'd make the uh, take more damage when I was attacking it. Oh, the 106 damage, it's crazy how many shots you still need. Yeah, some of these guys certainly do, um, Agent Chuck, they certainly still need quite a bit of damage, despite everything. And the boss of this level has tons of health as well, like 600 and something health or whatever. But that's, uh, the 600, uh, uh, no, 600, the 106 damage is, like, max damage, so it's, a uh, roll from 1 to that, and it's reduced by armor class, so, on average, you're probably not doing anywhere near that, um, oh, I don't think he noticed me. It's gonna take me a while to put on my bus, because I gotta take off my form, um, off the haste. I don't think the brilliance or anything helps me. No, that's probably that's fine. Oh, I should drink that experience while I'm here. Problem is, I lose like half the duration of that taste just like getting up to him. Um, I do want a mirror have my thing. Because a mirror can do some summons and like kind of crowd out uh, some of his summons, which is nice. Sometimes, I mean. There wasn't actually a lot of summoning involved that time round because he didn't live very long, which is great. Right, 13 runes. I've got the ice just What's the other one? Oh, Tomb of Agents. Right, no, that makes sense. Those all make perfect sense. I don't need to be in here anymore, so... Um... Did I ever swap the... I did swap the hat back on. That makes sense. Still wearing the decks. Okay, that makes sense. Let me just check on some ablets, see what we've got. Slaying willpower, hmm. No, I'm not tempted by any of those. I might just go to the tomb, do that one. The identity of this is going to be tough, though. Uh, did I ever get any teleports? Wow, okay. I hope I don't need teleports then, because I sure don't have them. Um... Oh yeah, the R is a 22% failure. It's kind of usable like that if I need to. It's nice. I don't have Shatter here to pop open these walls, which is a shame. Um... Alright, I don't need to be a tray or nothing because I got the Lich form. Fortunately, no shield, but that's just gonna have to... Just gonna have to do, I guess. Uh... I do have the emulate, which I'm going to be trying to do. Unfortunately, not many blinking scrolls, so I might run out of those in here, which I'm kind of worried about. Yeah, I'm kind of running low on the resources. It's, um, hmm. A little bit getting a little bit short. What is that? Oh, it's just a normal sword. It can normal great sword with, like, some, uh, blue, uh, fog on it or something. It kind of looked pretty impressed with, like, the blue fog on it. Uh, that's fine setting in here. I think this is the way down, even. All right. I should be buffed before I go down. Visibility does a tiny bit, but it doesn't do that much. I mainly just want the haste on. Which is the staircase? It's this way. Yeah, like some of these guys, like the little scarab beetles, can't see invisible, so there's some benefit to putting it on. Alright, my buffs are wearing off. I don't know if I can get to this royal mummy. I might just have to go upstairs or something. There's always just a summon taking the spot. 
Nah, it's time to just hand it upstairs, I guess. Let's get my health back and go back down. Yeah, that's a, that's a summon everywhere, but this is doing a bit better. Yeah, there we go. Some of the enemies are actually standing next to me this time round. One of the worst things in this place is like the nets that can get you and then you're kind of just trapped. I don't think you can evade very well. I mean, they get rid of your shield if you have one of those, but I don't have one of those. Um... <laughs> Another thing is the alarm, uh, not the alarm traps, the Zot traps can do fancy things as well. Like, I think paralyze sometimes. Just can also be nasty because there's just so many traps that you can't really avoid. Well, you can't avoid them all being in view. You can reduce how many are in view. Oh, yeah, they get rid of your magic points, so I don't think that matters too much. Although, to be fair, the magic points are kind of like health for this character, so it does matter, but. Right, is that the way up? Yep, that's it. That's almost certainly the wrong one, but I'll give it a try. Um, yep, it totally was. No, I don't think it would get uh, let me off fighting the mummies that easily. Alright, oh, uh... Hmm. I don't like that alarm trap because it's probably going to pull something in. I might try to get rid of that alarm, but I did leave it for a little while, so... Something might have been attracted, we'll see. Someday I should miss one of these guys and hit the mummy. Oh, there we go. The mummy decided to move up at the end anyway. Sometimes you feel a bit like a melee character having to run up to these guys just so they don't get you within, like, block you with a wall of summons. Um, am I going to have to... I was thinking I was going to have to like, do, like, a scroll of immolation there because I wasn't getting through the, the group of guys. Actually, don't I have the dimensional bullseye or something? Maybe we can try that on some of these guys. Yeah, actually, that works all right. <laughs> and of course, it moves up to me anyway. Uh, there's a lot of these guys here. I'm not sure I like this. I've slowed a mic. No wonder there's so many guys. This is actually really bad. Um... Hold up, this is... Oh, I should shoot this guy. But then... Hmm. I don't know if this makes any sense, but I'm going to emulate these guys. Um... Alright, I think that did make sense. Good. There we go. It didn't do much damage to the fire, which is why I was, why I was checking my fire just beforehand. Even though I should have known it would be good because I got the mutation. Alright. This is going to lead down to somewhere they can explore. Good. It does. Uh, whatever. Just kill these guys. Um... Yeah, it's still mine, but I don't think there's anyone else left to uh, come along. So I'm going to have to buff up before I go down, but this is, um, this is okay, I guess. So I can buff up with, I guess I'll do the invisibility and haste again. Don't think there's anything else I can throw in here that would help. I don't think a light, but it would help. 
<laughs> yeah, visibility in haste it is. Uh, Spousal, that side's got a net trap, I see. I should still go for it. Uh, trying to emulate something here. Might not work so well against the bad news, but it could get rid of some of these other things at least. Alright, I'm uh, gonna throw in a little bit more emulation as well. Not that I can get that many still, unfortunately, but this is alright. Um. Oh, don't petrify. Okay. Throw a Yaras on myself. It'll get rid of the slow as well, which is nice. I think I can get rid of the bad unit on my own. So it's just a matter of buffing up and going back down, but unfortunately it'll put me in much the same spot I was in before. Alright, so again I'll do the whole invisibility case. I'm running low on the haste though as well. Um, okay. Emulation. I'm running low on the emulation. Wow. Is there something I'm not running low on? Probably. Probably some of those potions that I don't really get a chance to use. Fifteen evocations. What do I need? I don't even know. Maybe a little bit more translocations. Oh wait, uh, those look fine. It's actually the Yaras, so um, hold on. So stop that. It's uh, alchemy. I can get to. Don't just unlimit it. Twelve, and hexes. I can get to like twelve. Uh burn a bit more stuff. Um Okay, I'm slowed. I should probably head on upstairs, get my health back. I think I've gone through the main bulk of creatures now. Yeah, you can see this is almost clear when I go down. Good, I can walk straight to the staircase. Good. So I think this is looking pretty good. And I can try and find my ziggurat in here, though it looks like it might be on the other side, unfortunately. Because that one's a, an escaped option. Oh, I don't need the conjuration, don't need the short blades, but I do need the ziggurat. No hag crossbows, um, can't see any. Alright, well, that's fine. I would, I would say I don't need them, because I kind of do, but... <laughs> this one will be fine, I guess, this Arbalest. Did I not find any teleports? I did find some enchantment, but no teleports in here. There's often, like, a teleport or two sitting around, but not this time around. Alright, 14 runes, good. Um, okay, I can just uh, head straight on up, but uh, auto explorers not gonna know how to get out of here because half these staircases are the ones I've never taken before. It's I happen to know where they lead, even if it doesn't. Uh, I'm kind of worried about the Iron City of Dust, wherever that is. You know what, I might actually go to Zot 5, do that, and then come back for the Iron City of Dis. Uh, well, that's a teleport trap, what's that? The uh, love trap? That's probably fine. Maybe, um... Mm. That's maybe enough stuff pulled out with the love trap. I might just cancel it up. I'll try to pull some stuff out, but maybe not this much stuff. I don't know. It's fine. Just a couple of orbs of fire. Yeah, I got the fire resist, though, at least. Three orbs of fire? I see. Uh, 
Actually, this is not too bad. It's also fine, fairly trivial. A little bit of sad trade, but that's about it. Um, I don't even know what to get anymore. <laughs> get some evocations. I don't know, it's, it feels like a little bit late to try and get into a whole new skill, but also... Yeah, I don't know. I'm running out of, like, existing skills to get. Come on, step back a little bit. There's another one of these good old orbs of fire. Like, wow, they'll hide their 10 dice side. Get rid of them. I mean, they're definitely very tough still. And I know the characters doing Mega Ziggurats can have problems with them because they're, like, mutually good Mega Ziggurat spells or at least very resistant. But I don't know if they're... They don't seem like quite the toughest enemy. I guess head dice aren't quite an um, indicator of how tough an enemy they are. They're more how, like, accurate an enemy is at heading. And things like that. All right. I gotta do this whole place so I can use the teleport traps. Hey, look at that! It's a scroll of teleport! One of these mythical scrolls of teleport. That doesn't seem to exist. Well, they, I had a few of them. Um. Well, I guess I'm done with that. So let's just go back to hell and do the Iron City Disc. I don't think I've got anywhere else to go. There's three... Blinking one teleport, which isn't a lot. Um, hmm. Do I have butterflies or something? No, I'm gonna summon. I might actually read one of those. All right, <laughs> that does the trick. Um, I do have some. Magic mapping that I can read. I might actually explore some on this level because I I think it's a I think I need to get my max health back. Did keep with the resist corrosion good. It's the resist cold that I'm not using right now, which is fine. I don't think I need much of that in here, so that should be fine. All right, next level. Doesn't start me with an ambush, which is a good sign. Because it's not one of the, yes, definitely means it's not one of the really horrible ambush levels. They basically require you to blink immediately or you're in trouble. Alright, uh, this one's the most dangerous. The hell that the tormentors don't matter when I've got the lich form on. Could take the escape hatch, but I might try to find the real staircase. That's multiple escape hatches, even. That means that I don't have any hell effects. I totally could go down if I wanted to. No, I really do think I'll find the real staircase here. Hey, there we go. That one looks real. Uh, oh. Oh, not the, this one. Oh, well, goodbye, last teleport, I guess. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, well that worked out. I could just uh, skip it. But I changed about the teleport. Um, level 6, I could magic map. I might save that for level 7. These uh, eye goals are very smart with choke points. I wonder what the chance ahead is. I don't remember eye goals being like that good at hitting. Um, what do I even want as a skill now? I mean, I'm going to actually get some spell casting because that gives me more magic points and I can use those as hit points. Um, See, so yeah, I have the whole spirit guardian. Whoa, okay. That's a load, lot of dudes, but that's fine. And kind of just bash these up like one quarter of time. I guess one third, because actually the side they started on didn't have any dudes. It'll take a chance to hit me. It's got a 5% chance to hit me, so it's not like minimal chance to hit me, but it's, um, yeah, it's still pretty low. 
You know, I think Minnow Chow is like 2 or 3%. But without, like, you have to get shield as well to try and block things. Um, it's just like how you always have at least a 2% chance of heading. I think things always have, like, at least a 2% chance of heading USC. And I think it's actually, like, 2.5. I think the thing say 2% is actually rounded and stuff. All right. Oh, the obvious one to take out is this one. Um, I want to be marked. I think I can step back this way. And these guys are potentially to be for damnation from that guy. All right. Hopefully that step be back far enough. Oh, still a ton of dudes here. Hmm. I gotta bring out one of these summoning scrolls. There we go. That just fills up some of these spaces. Um, make sure these guys can't surround me so easily. <laughs> I even got like, like a little eye golem and stuff on my side. And so many shrikes, like that was a really uh, good selection of dudes that time round. It's definitely not always that good. What? I want to shoot my own dude, that's silly. I think I saw the haste potion as well that I could use the, the boss fight. But I've got to know exactly what I'm going to get that. As long as they don't, like, actually attract the boss too early or something. Which I've done plenty of times before. Um, I mean, usually the thing to do when you do that is just uh, teleport out. But that's not going to work for this character. I'm, uh, yeah, getting close to being a pharmacist with the fact that I'm out of teleports. I still got three blinky though, so I'm not quite full of pharmacist yet. Alright, well, um, if I stand right here, it's a good spot to put on my buffs of a haste. I think haste is all I really need. Let's do yeah, let's just go with that. Uh, I'll shoot him while he's asleep, and then I'll go mirror him up. No. Um, unfortunately, the mirror appeared on that side of him, but I guess that's fine. He can fight his mirror for a while while I fight the rest of these guys. In fact, weirdly, the mirror seemed to be winning the fight. Hey, 15 runes, that's all this character's going for. I'm not going to try to do a Ziggurat or anything. I'm just going to leave it at 15 runes, and I should actually just get out of here. Uh, find my way through all the shrikes I have to. <laughs> the shrikes are fast, so they didn't uh, move around a bit. Alright, so I'm uh, Mary Demigod, which is exactly what I was going for. I'm just go to Zot 5, get myself... The orb and dead get out of here. Can I do anything to buff up that evasion anymore? Um, <laughs> I mean, I could get a tiny bit more by putting on a dex ring instead of this one. It gave me like one point. I just want to get to 100. I don't know if I can. Hold up. I know this is kind of silly, but like, uh, 73, just like my current helmet. My armor is good, body armor is giving dex. Okay, got a hat, got the weapon. I don't think I can do anything to buff my decks up higher. Um, uh, actually, there's that amulet. Might go grab that one all the way up because I can get a three more decks out of that one. <laughs> I don't know if I'll uh, quite make it to a hundred evasion. Uh, wait, I was meant to go stand on a teleport trap. There we go. Because I cleared on the whole place. It's not going to teleport me into the unexplored lug or something. Yeah. 
These all look like they're doable creatures. Uh, what do you do, Pandemonium Lord? Quick throw a bolt orb of electricity. That doesn't sound too bad. Yeah, what does this one do? Um, lighting bolt doesn't sound too bad. Yeah, there we go. It's dead. Uh, hello, Sam. We're getting close to them, but I don't want to put it on it straight away. I just want to pick it up. I wish I did pick it up. Like, you gave four more decks. Oh, please don't drain my decks. That's not right. You have to get that one back on my way up, but I don't think it's uh, too bad. I've only got five levels though, to go up, so who knows if I'll actually get it back or not. Hey, there we go. It's back. Excellent. Right, so about the exit, so what I want to do is I want to put on the ring instead of this ring. Hey, 100 evasion! Perfectly on 100 evasion! Look at that! Alright, let's get out of here with my triple digit evasion. Um, that's demigods for you. I mean, also, this one was giving dags. I had a lot of things giving dags. My arm was giving dags. My hat was giving dags. My rings were both giving dags. Yeah, I mean, I really stacked the dags up. Got it up to 83. That's definitely the highest I've ever got my evasion, though. That was a really fun character. I like that run. Despite their lack of consumables, it was definitely a good run.